I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. I love it. Yes, it's after hours, and I'm so excited. I live for this moment every single day of the week. I can't wait to get a massive migraine headache. And who's going to do that? The whack pack, and they're here in full strength today. Actually, not full strength. Where's Romano? He's uh, he just left us with a blank. Uh, I heard somebody. Uh, uh, Dave, the fiber lines kicked in. John will be back in a minute. Ah, that's right. <laughs> you know, um, Larry um, Pollock. You know who? A lot of people. You know, he's like the quietest guy on the set. Great interview. Always. And Larry, you know, loves doing this show. He loves doing it so much that he actually is having a procedure done. Nothing serious. Uh, today at the hospital and he was he was going to do the show like while he was driving to the hospital and then while he's in the waiting room and stuff i said larry just take care of your thing and we'll see you next week but he really does love to do the show so i want to just wish him best of luck on his little procedure he's having done today out there in california good luck and we'll have him back next week yep. good, good luck larry. i'm glad we got him on the show and by the way the interview you did with him was really good oh yeah people want to hear his full story and completion and uh, some really Larry's good a, insights into what happened. Watch uh, Iron Therapy with Larry. That was Iron a great Therapy. interview. Larry hey, is Dave. a real OG. Larry's a Dave, real OG. I, I just want to say something. You know, I just mm -hmm. did I just did a show with one of our friends at the show here, a guy who's a big supporter of the show. You know, because he talked to you, by the way. Uh, oh. Joe Zapata, his, his, uh, yes. the Zapata brand podcast. That's a new podcast. Yes. His brother's a boxer, George Zapata, and he just yes. did a big, you know, so if, and he did some really cool shit with me. He actually went in my house and showed people like how I live. And oh, so, really? Yeah, like you know, like my house and my bedroom. And he when oh, he walked to my bedroom, he was like, "Holy shit! I've never seen." It. So, Zapata brand podcast <laughs> is coming out in a couple of days. Go to that right. YouTube if you guys want to. Yeah. Have to plug because I told him I'd come on this. too, but I told him to do a few shows, get him under his belt first so that I, you know, that there's more people going to be watching, but yeah, we'll help him promote it for sure. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's or a good he, guy. He, he's a big, you know, he's dude. He, these guys watch this show and he's a big fan of you, Dave. He told me he just talked to you on the phone too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about his podcast and you know, he's, he's just like a good guy. You know, you can, there's just some people out there that look, I, you know, it's funny. I have people and I'm great. I don't know if this happens to you. I have people who just randomly call me on the phone. And they'll just start asking me questions and I don't even know who they are. And I'm like, um, you know, I don't want to be rude because I'm sometimes I'm like, maybe I, I should know who the person is and I don't remember. So I'm like, that's, that's the clone to you, Dave. That's the clone to you talking to them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, who, who is this? I'm like, is it, do I know you? Oh yeah. You know, I, I, I watch all your podcasts and I got your number cause it's all over the place. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. What? Well, cause I got a question <laughs> and I'll answer the question. You know, I, I don't even care. So, but you know, I think stuff like that happens to you probably too. Oh yeah, you know what I hate, Dave, is when you're in a store or you're somewhere and somebody will come up to you and go, "Greg, what's going on? What, you know, where's your daughter Gina?" And I'm sitting here going, "Holy fuck!" Uh, like I have no clue. I don't recognize this guy, but he's asking me questions yeah. that, oh. like, are personal. You feel like you have dementia or something like that. Yeah. Like maybe I should know the guy. You know, I used to get all that until yeah. January, until mid January, and then it all stopped. Now everybody just does this. No, but. It's people, I get people asking me stuff like, uh, you know, like that, like, you know, like, oh, so is your father still whatever? And I'm like, holy shit, how does this person know? Like, they must know me, but I have no, I don't recognize no, them. because they watch the show, Greg, and yeah. you talk about everything. So they know your life probably as well as you know your own life, you know? <laughs> well, you were about to say the bedroom, Greg. What happened? I'm still hooked up oh, in the yeah. bedroom. You know what? I got what was it. the bedroom? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Geez, this is. Go to the, the Zapata, Z-A-P-A-T-A, -A, the right. Zapata brand podcast on YouTube. Okay. Go there, wait. You'll see in a couple of days. If you, I don't want to get the cat out of the bag, but wow. I can tell you none of you guys here, Dave's going to fucking love this. If you saw my bedroom 
you will know what the fuck I'm talking about. You what won't believe it. Do you have a lot of animals in your bedroom? Sex no, uh, well, there's Sex turtles, you know, my turtles and shit. <laughs> and you know what's, you know, I was a little embarrassed, Dave, because I just <laughs> fed the turtles and they uh, fucking dirty up the water like uh, really bad. When yeah. I feed them, like, uh, like I give them lettuce, like I throw a head of lettuce in there and shit. Right. And they'll, they'll devour the whole lettuce, but then they're like, <clears throat> you know, and they fucking, and they love it. Like turtles in the wild love like muddy, water yeah. like they oh, like, yeah, like they absolutely. live in ponds and shit yeah, you know these yeah. are red air sliders so they live in ponds and they but they, they like drink the that water, water greg too so you gotta that's why it's important to clean the water you know yeah, no no my girlfriend, it. actually my girlfriend so we talk, we cleaned it all the time it's so usually yeah. very clear but yeah. you know he caught me where i just fed him and i even told him look you can still see some of the lead but that's not what i'm talking about oh. there's some really fucked up shit that's in my <laughs> bedroom that you guys are gonna fuck. was your girl was your girlfriend naked or something like that <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, she was there, though. To, you know, you know her, though. She doesn't talk. She's very quiet. So she sat. She's yeah, usually she napping. To... She's usually napping in the bed. Oh, my God. Know. We were we were in uh, George. Uh, George Zapata owns a bagel store in 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 a uh, 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 it's called Georgie's Bagels. It's in um it's in Pennsylvania. I forgot the name. Something buckwheat or buck, buck something or other in in uh, Pennsylvania. Buck and my, my girlfriend buck was in now. there. To, he's got to tell. He's Berwick, 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 oh, Pennsylvania. Hey, that's so, close to Bucknell. So, so wait, listen. So she's she's in there. Well, I'm there's a there's an actual studio in here where they film and do everything, right? In the back of the bagel store. Okay. So I'm in the bagel store and I'm filming and she's sleeping out on a fucking couch in a, in the bagel store. It not 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 hold the on, back hold bagel. on, Greg. Hold on. You went to the Pennsylvania to the bagel store? Yeah. Yeah, they drove me. You don't me. go anywhere. I can't get you to go anywhere. You drove Joseph Potter. They, Joseph they came and got him. Drove me. Joseph Potter picked me up. Oh, Dude, Joe just... went from Pennsylvania to your house to pick you up to take you to Pennsylvania and then drove you back? Yes. Holy yes. mackerel. Yes. He, he actually lives in Paramus, New Jersey, but he went here. His... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like a big triangle. Bro <laughs> That's his brother lives in Pennsylvania. <laughs> but dude, dude, they have a boxing ring downstairs. You know, because his brother Joe, Joe's about his brother George was a boxer. Okay, and he got a. You got to see the boxing ring. They fight down there like the big posters of George. You know, boxing and and Ooh, and all yeah, kinds yeah. of stuff. You know, from when he you know, it, it, you know, his professional boxer. So they got all that stuff there. And then in the back there's a studio. But my girlfriend's laying out in the store part. In the store part, there's a couch on here. She's out there like. <laughs> <laughs> if Joe Zapata was here, he'd tell you that he, like me and my girlfriend were fucking crazy. Like, yeah, you'll see when you guys see the bedroom. Along, I mean, he's also going to show the statues. Uh, Dave, since I did the, the show with you with the statues, yeah. there's, ten, there's 100 more statues and shit. But the. <laughs> but 100, the hold on. 100 more? Yeah, we need 100 more. Uh, it, there's a, a lot, a lot, a real clear, lot. You're gonna clearly, you don't live in a home. They filmed this when he was filming it. He was actually going, "Holy shit!" Because <laughs> uh, another thing that you're gonna get, I gotta have a shed in the backyard, right? And if you saw what's at the shed, you're gonna die. And when he opened the shed, you're gonna die. He's okay. gonna tell you. You're gonna see it. I don't want to. I don't want to give it away. The climax is building. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, you're gonna gag. It's the. I, I, I you people gonna really kidnapped in that in that shed there, or maybe Lee Haney. You know. Dave, if you guys thought I was fucked up, what does he have tied up in that shed, John? <laughs> it's a slime. It's a slime. No, you know, judging my, by what's under the table, if you had a whole shed to move around with, dude, my, my, you know what it is? Maybe that's where Jimmy the Bull has been. I think he has Jimmy the Bull tied up in there. Do you know what? You have Jimmy Hoffa in there. Jimmy's supposed to be on the Zapata show too, you know. He talked to Zapata, but the thing is, who, who, the my my daughter, I'll give it. To, my daughter was a, you know, is well, she's a lesbian. You know, she's a fighter too. You know, she fights jujitsu. How everything. much cat? Oh, I have a question. How much caffeine did you consume before this show? <laughs> I'm nuts, Dave. I don't, I've never heard you talk this fast before. No, I'm because uh, I'm man, you know me. I'm you can't even organize your thoughts. No, you're, well, you're I'm no, enjoying I'm, it. I'm, I'm, this this obviously I'm, means. The show is a big deal for him. You know, yeah, yeah, he's, all, yeah. he's all excited. No, 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 no. I got he, some stimuli, but I'm not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I do have to stimuli. You know, I, 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 but I don't take that now to do the show. I take that to work out. You know, I take the stimuli. He takes it to work out at two in the morning, John. <laughs> Dude, I worked out. I worked out last right, night. Exactly. I finished. No, he's he look. Stop. 
he's jacked on something right now. Yeah, no, no, let's, no. let's just all let's just all accept that yes. fact, Greg. Admit it. And 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 you know this is you know this is like what's going on with Biden right now. Just fucking admit it. Okay, the answer is yes. You know it's yes. We know it's yes. Everybody listening knows it's yes. It's yes. Just say and no. give some to give some to Armand. Everybody. Yeah, but wait, everybody <laughs> listening. That's funny because I do zero. Say, what are you talking I about? Really Valentino? Know. I know you. Don't. They're all saying Valentino's always yeah. fucking like that. I'm always, no, you know, amped. This is him naturally. You're never He's naturally like, like this. Yeah. yeah. No. He's around his friends, so it's, that's what it is. It, no, it's, it's passion. That's that's right. Passion. <laughs> we're, the USA, same, baby. we're the same group of friends that were here last week, and right. he was 70. He was a or less. So no, I'm uh, always or, amped. I don't, I don't know. He seems the same to me, but. Are, are we going to do our pre-show, pre-show, uh, Whatever you take pre-show, like your pre-workout pre-show. I don't take anything. Look, I'm drinking, <laughs> I'm drinking diet birch beer. Look, well, diet. Birch somebody's, beer. Yeah. somebody's what the it. hell is birch <laughs> beer? It's like root beer. I drink root beer. I know, beer. but what is birch? <laughs> what is birch beer? Diet. It's it's, it's really like root beer. The, the like brand root beer. Right. I know. I'm trying to no, it's the name of root beer, but what is birch? I think it comes tree. from the first tree. The person who yeah. the name it was probably. You know, I thought it was like, from the tree. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, it's <laughs> that, that brand, that famous brand with the P there. I can't even. Yeah, Polar. I've never heard of it. Polar. You've never heard of birch beer? It comes from birch No, no. Beer. I've never heard of the brand with the P. It comes from birch oh, Polar. Beer, Polar. It? Maybe it's because it's a New York thing. I don't know. Yeah. That's probably. New York, bro. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Polar? That's Northeast. Yeah. Really? Get, you, Polar John, Spring. You know what? John knows what I know. John knows what birch beer is. Am yeah, I right or wrong? Yeah. Birch, birch, tree. birch yeah. beer is made in the uh, in, in Pennsylvania, Central Pennsylvania. So no, 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 no. Is, you, why is it? you like that though? You like yeah, it? It's, it's root beer. It's like root beer. It's exactly yeah. almost the same thing. Root beer comes from like the same shit. Root beer tastes more like candy, and this tastes more like a like a. I don't know. It's not no, this tastes. Ex- I, 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 I mean, like this it. tastes exactly I, like. I think it's better beer. than root beer. It tastes exactly like root beer. Yeah, like a root beer float. You well, know, yeah. that with ice cream when exactly. we kids. It's called a birch beer float. It's almost like vanilla with root beer, like that. Yeah. It's, that's that's, that's, that's like. pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good analogy right there. Yeah, right? If you, listen, this is this is my shit, man. I drink this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't drink any energy. You know, I drink. I, I drink Dave's shit. Is what I drink. Well, you know I'm always amped. Dave. What, the st- I- you drink the stimuli's? That the- was clear. Dude, I take the. Oh, you know how you notice? Know this- oh, it's it's actually an extract of birch bark. The bark. Yeah, birch, 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 yeah. Birch chips. Yeah. Yeah. Birch chips, yeah. And they ferment it with with it's sugar. They throw sugar in there and shit yeah. like that. So. Well, this one's sugar free. That's why I think it tastes less like candy than root beer, and it's like a more like an earthy taste. To so it. it's got yeah. alcohol content. Yeah, but- in it. No, there's no alcohol. You know. You're right. You know what? Dave's right. The Pennsylvania Dutch are the ones who started birch beer. Yeah. He's right because that's there's like a very famous brand yeah. called the Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer. I but went to college same... in four years. I know, Greg. I used to see it all the time. So. Oh, wait, you went to college in Pennsylvania? I, I went in the Amish country in Lancaster. I went to school. No, I didn't. Yeah, I... yeah, yeah. I, I used to run through the Amish people's farms when I was a runner, you know. Yeah. <laughs> They had uh, soda shops back then where you could get the birch beer, like you said, at the counter. Birch beer float. It's very touristy, you know, that yeah. area. So you can go into any little, like, convenience store and they have it there, like, set up with a display and because everyone everyone's into the Amish people, you know, that's, like, a cool thing. I used do. to I used to go there with my parents when we were kids, you know. We, we all did. Uh, they were in New York, did. That was vacation um, time. Pennsylvania, Dutch, Dutch, Dutch Wonderland. Dutch yes. Wonderland. Yes. We went Zero there. percent divorce rate with the Amish. How about that? Let's give them a hand. <laughs> <laughs> four, no, I'm four a girl, some cuties, though. Zero, zero percent divorce rate. No wow. crime, no crime neither. No crime. They they they're off the grid. Got to give them some credit. You can man. say that about Dubai too. <laughs> Wait a minute, do they have oh, yeah. arranged marriages too? Do they don't they have arranged marriages? The Amish people. I don't yeah. think more, Greg. No, I, I don't think I, 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 it's kind of probably would be a little bit something like that. I would imagine. No, it goes like cute. this, Greg. I got four cows. You got a daughter. <laughs> Do you mean cows or daughters? <laughs> no, both. Well, there's supposed to be some sort of gift too. You're making right? a trade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, well, you can make money from a cow. Watching that, you make money from a daughter too. Yeah. Say, Armand. 
you got me binge watching that show Suits. I'm on like season almost five now. I, I love that hey, show, man. I just started season four. Well, you must be binge watching it. I'm binge watching. <laughs> so I love that show. When, when they shot that was shot all like back in 2007. So Is it, it that long ago? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that a great ago. show. I Your wife that. must love that, John. That show. We, we, oh, no, yeah, we, we, we finished it. it. We finished it like two years ago. I, mean, I never it. heard of it. What is it called? It's Suits. on Netflix. It's called Suits. It's great. It's yeah. really great. Good. Great show. Yeah. I don't want to watch anything else. Him. No matter what else comes on, I just say I'm going to watch Suits. Yeah. Yellowstone yeah. was as good, I think. Yeah, I didn't watch that. Yeah. You know, I, I don't have Netflix. So you know what? I didn't want to watch Yellowstone either, Dave, and I put yeah. it off and put on some fun. Somebody, my friend Daryl Devore down in Florida. He said, yeah. I, nagged me to fucking start really? watching. And I did, and I am forever grateful because that where, was- Where do you watch it? Where, where is that even appear on? Yeah, you got uh, uh, Amazon Prime. What is oh, it? Is it, <clears throat> is it free or you got to pay for it? You got to pay for it. Pay for it. No. Nothing for a stepper like you. No, because you know what? No. I have Param <laughs> I have the Paramount Plus channel, and they have the new one. The, the uh, what's the-, the 18 the 1830 Yeah, something. but they don't have Yellowstone. No, well, you got yeah, but you gotta you gotta watch it. That the characters, the, it is so well cast. Right, it's right. Unbelievable. It. Yeah, really what's his name's the star, right? The, 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 Costner. No, I yeah, love that. Kevin guy. Costner. Kevin. It's Costner. the largest working uh, um, ranch in the country. Oh, it is. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. I never saw it, but I know that his wife just divorced him and got like a hundred and ninety thousand dollars a month. She asked for it. I don't know if she got it though. She no, she asked for two hundred and fifty, I think, or maybe it was one hundred and sixty thousand. Did she th that they awarded her? She's worth um, a lot of money, Greg. That means he must be worth a lot of money. <laughs> Google it. It's yeah, how do I calculate that? What, what What does she do that she needs a quarter of a million dollars? A, how much was it? No, John. It's not that she does. It's just that. He valued her pussy that much, so now he has to pay. Yeah, she was pretty hot, so not for nothing. Wasn't time. he paying for it the whole time? Well, he was, and now he's not with her, and he's still paying for it. Yeah. Well, they but have kids. The funny thing is, they have kids, the kids are like fucking, yeah. like they're older. No, they're they not kids. like little kids and shit. If, it's, if there's kids, it's a whole other story. If they're yeah, under 21, then kids. he has to pay for the kids. Yeah. yeah, That's still a lot of money. I mean, yeah. Oh, hey, I John. Trust I want to. I gotta ask John. John, what are your thoughts about fucking uh, when they did the indictment with Trump? I'm trying to get political, but they they now they indicted uh, what's his name? Uh, married to the car, Kanye West. Uh, they indicted his whole crew. Did you see that? Yeah, they just I, 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 just a little while ago, I saw it. Yeah, Kanye yeah. West. What the so, fuck is so wrong? You know, Dude, like, we're living in a fucked up country. Hey, the birthday party, right? <laughs> they what? They just, won't show bodybuilding on he was ESPN. The birthday party. Bro, they won't show bodybuilding on ESPN, but last week I was watching fucking with a beanbag, the cornhole shit where you draw yeah, the yeah, cornhole. Yeah. That was on ESPN. And so was uh, Frisbee. They draw it like a football. Greg, they have balloon too. Balloons. Balloons. Do, do you know why they, they won't show, they won't Greg, show bodybuilding? Greg, Greg, here's a trivia question for you. Go ahead. You know why ESPN won't show bodybuilding? Uh... Why? Because I was on that show. For no, no, no. This this travesty has nothing to do with you. Uh, what is it? 1991 Miss Olympia. Yeah. What happened? Oh, uh, they have lost. Bev the, the Bev Francis, Bev Francis it was, it was won. being it was being filmed oh, live for ESPN. Okay? Yeah. Between the, going out of prejudging into the night show, Bev was two points ahead of Linda Murray. For Linda Murray's first title defense, somehow at the end of the night, and I was there sitting two rows. I thought behind it was the first. Me. I thought it was her first, the first victory. No, it was ninety-one. No, she no, because Corey. No, didn't Corey win in ninety? It was her first title oh, defense. Okay, I swear right. to God. And okay. I was there. I was there. I was two rows behind Weinberger. I saw the right. whole thing. So um, Bev Bev ends up losing by one point. She thirty-one to thirty-two. And what happened was. Right. Ben Weeder showed up with Joe, and and what happened was, while this is being aired live, they flashed the scorecard, so you can see that Bev is leading going into the night show, and the night show is posing routine and pose down. It doesn't count for anything. Everybody knows who's ever winning out of pre, you know this. Whoever's winning out of prejudging is winning. There's no way to make up those points between the routine and the pose down. It's impossible. hundred percent. 
So, right. so Bev ends up losing by one point. Well, what had happened allegedly is that the, is that Ben said, you know, who saw what happened, saw the scorecard, and and saw that this was going to be bad for his bid to get bodybuilding into the Olympics, and um, he said, you got to put, you got to put, because Bev at the time she couldn't have stood out more in that lineup. If she was painted neon, she was the un most unbelievable. Wow, I didn't believe anybody. Had ever seen. I got the pictures up there, right there. Wow. Yeah, yep. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. And so, Linda Murray was muscu very muscular. But well, well, what does that have to do with men not being put so, on? So, it? so no, it soured ESPN. ESPN saw that it was fixed because Ben Ben changed the score. They they totally they totally fixed it in front of the whole world. And since then, ESP, you know, that put a bad taste in ESPN's mouth. You know what's Who funny? Who was the head of the IFPB oh, then? Let okay. me interject for a second. Speaking of Ben Weeder, did you well, – who was – let me quiz you guys. John, don't answer. Who was Ben Weeder's biggest hero? Napoleon Bonaparte. I was good friends that, with Ben Weeder. I used to talk to him. I still have his <laughs> fucking number on my cell phone. You know, I I, very good, good answer, Greg. Do you know who else loves uh, Napoleon? Uh, who? In this world? In today's world, who? Evidently, Elon Musk. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah. But wait a minute. What people don't know, I knew Ben Weeder very well. We used to talk on the phone because I'm very into history. He, <laughs> he was the Napoleon Bonaparte. He He's got the hat, doesn't he? Got the hat of Napoleon. The no, no, he had no. He had the back. Napoleon. He had the he back. He has books again. on Napoleon. He wrote the books on Napoleon. Nobody okay. knows that Ben Weeder. I think was he has the hat. He used to wear it around the house, John. Isn't that true? <laughs> no. Well, you know, Greg. What What is true is that Ben Weeder proved that Napoleon was poisoned. Right. You know, he, he he investigated his whole death, and he Ben Weeder has published you know journal that you know he proved that Napoleon Bonaparte was poisoned. That's how he died. Mm -hmm. He told me that that's why Ben Weeder used to wear the hat around the house. But I that's why Napoleon <laughs> used to also sometimes stick his fucking hand in his thing because his stomach was always bad. He was poisoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely poisoned him. And, and you know, Ben has a lot of um, a lot of the memorabilia, like ben authentic Napoleon stuff. I think he even has the suit he died in or something like he, that. Right? He had he had his baptismal gown and he, he donated wow. it to a museum. Yeah, he wow. has. He had a lot of personal artifacts yeah. from Napoleon. He wrote books on Napoleon. I used to I I used to talk with he him about that. He used to make Greg dress up as Napoleon, and they would they would reenact the, uh, the the battle scenes, right? He was a fucking great guy, though. People didn't know that Ben Weeder. If you got to talk to him and know him, he was friendly. Gave me his Greg, fucking. You play, cell phone you play number. the British, Greg. I'll I'll, I'll play Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> he was such a character. He had put the red coat on. The he British wear the red coats. <laughs> Greg, did he ever? Did you ever go out on his boat with him? Never. He Never. had this cabin cruiser. It was like twelve feet long, and right. and he and he would drive the boat with the suit with the captain suit on, the blue mm. razor and the hat. Oh, <laughs> and the yeah. like the love boat. <laughs> but the boat was like this big. It was this little teeny <laughs> tiny boat. <laughs> but he was very much in all history. He was big on the Revolutionary War, Civil War. He's yeah. big on all history, but but he was an authority, wrote books and exposed a lot of shit about Napoleon Bonaparte. He, I, I, he pro Greg, you'd agree, he probably is or was the foremost expert. The leading authority on, on Napoleon. Napoleon he, yeah. he studied, he knows if Napoleon Bonaparte threw a fart when he was marching somewhere, <laughs> he knew about it. He was very, very, and he was a great guy. You could talk to him about anything. He, he He's very friendly, very talkative and shit. You know what I mean? I, I, when we first hooked up, we hooked up. What's interesting about this, what you're saying is that, mm -hmm. you know, in order to find out stuff like about when Napoleon farted, you'd have to find like someone who <laughs> knew Napoleon. You can't ask Napoleon. So right. there must have been, Ben must have found someone like you. Like Greg <laughs> Valentino was, was Napoleon's, you know, guy who used to get his, his clothes ready for him in the morning. And he said every morning fucking Napoleon would fucking <laughs> fuck 10 farts and stink him out of the room. And that's, that's where <laughs> his valet. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, got, he's got his number on his phone. Peter got the information it's on his from, phone. Yeah. <laughs> well, I his have Napoleon right complex uh, because I'm small. I got Napoleon complex, you know, because I'm five six. <laughs> so does Steve Blackman. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I you guys got along so. I wonder so if that. Steve got that Napoleon hat after the Ben uh, passed. You know, he we got the last that interviews with him. Remember, Greg? Yes. Last interviews. You I and my brother. Barefoot. Yeah. 
picking. Uh, I was, oh, that, that was yeah. Georgie. That was classy. Put it in a magazine. That, oh, the that ones was, that was absolutely classic at the in the in the hotel in the Double Tree Hotel in the bar where it was closed. The bar was closed, and and you, your brother's barefooted, and he's with Greg, and they're interviewing Ben Weeder. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Ben came down. I'm like Ben, and fucking your brother goes running over there with his bare feet. And, and, he, had that, and he had that green toe fungus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of it and put it in the magazine. It was the, of your brother's feet. It no, was but, the, but, but, Rob, he what Rob, his brother used to do is, and he probably still does to this day, is that he finds like a, a way to com- connect with the person. He was so, talking about his father. Yeah. Well, that's what, you know, what, right. What, what he did was he lied. He told Ben, my father remembers you from like <laughs> so-and-so street in Brooklyn when he used to, you know, and it was a total <laughs> lie, but Ben didn't know. And Ben's like, no, no he, he told him Williamsburg because that's the Jewish right. section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, something it, something John, like that. Just like I said earlier, if someone comes up to me on the street and I don't know who they are, I'm going to talk to them, right? Because I'm afraid they may know them. I think Ben thought maybe he knew right. Rob Smalley's father, you know? <laughs> yeah, he made him believe he knew him. Yes. Yeah. You know, yes. So Ben was like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, that bakery on Avenue H. Yeah, yeah meanwhile, was, he, was he was never was in awesome. fucking, he was never he, in it. We used to get bagels book. together every morning. <laughs> yeah. Dude, people don't know Bobby. They don't know George's brother. To know Bobby, Bobby's the one of the greatest characters. Bobby's a genius. Okay? He wants to text me. Let's just put it that way. He's he's a marketing genius. He out texts my girlfriend. He wants to text me literally twenty fucking texts in less than two minutes time. <laughs> he does you know what, no, college, I'll tell you about Ben and Joe Weiner. They they lived a very ripe old age and they were enjoying their life to the end. And, yes. and I gotta say, yep. Yep. that's what we all want, right? I mean, Ben, yep. make fun of him all you we can goof on him all we want. The guy was like on airplanes traveling all over the world every weekend, you know, for his whole life. I don't think he ever slowed down, right? He did. I was with him in the airport. I was with him in the airport. We were sitting down talking. He had they had just put him in the booth. You know that booth? You know, okay. where they check you, like, for weapons and shit. Like, the yeah. glass boot, they, you know, something beeped on him, so they put him in the boot. And yeah. I'm even telling the fucking guy, dude, he's, like, 90 years old. You know, he's he's a 90-year-old Jew. He's not a, he's not, he's not some Arab terrorist or something like that. But they had him in the booth, and they, were, they wouldn't let him out of the booth. I felt so bad. <laughs> and then we sat down and started bullshitting. But, you know, it, it, I mean, I'm like, he's 90 fucking years old. I mean, what are you, what are you doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> It was crazy. You know, he's in the air. You know, you know how the airport security did the psycho now with all that shit? They got fucking four year olds in a booth and shit. Uh, you know, so they had Ben. Ben was in the booth. I stood there waiting. I was telling the guy, he's 90 fucking years old. He'd leave how, him alone. How about, how about Ben's side chest pose? That classic <laughs> shot with, with the hair. What about, what about, was it Clarence Ross or was it Robbie Robinson that did the No, fucking- Robbie Robinson did the bust for Joe. Bust, yeah, for Joe. There's a black and white picture of Ben hitting the side chest with the hair. He's got all, there's all this white hair on his chest. And he's all oiled up. <laughs> you would love that shot. <laughs> Greg, Dave, Google that. There's, there's, that, there, that shot exists. I know it does. Greg would love it. That's funny. The, the Weeder brothers definitely did. Do a lot you, know of that kind of, you know how Joe put their hands on other people's body, well, on, I, guys. I, I got some very sad news. I got to report breaking Uh-oh. news. I, I I hope it's not true, Uh-oh. but uh, John Bravo put it on his Instagram. So it, it you know he's usually pretty accurate. The big Rob died. What? What? Yep. That's Who? Yeah, no. Rest in peace, Rob. No. Rob Zilla. Hold no. on, Rob Zilla. Rob Zilla. Oh, I just talked. Oh to Rob my Zilla. God! What happened? I can't tell you how sweet he was to me, especially the past few months. Gone too soon. You know what? He has been very sweet to me. He matter of fact, remember, I don't know if you saw, I had posted on my Instagram a uh, a mask, an Iron Man mask that opened up automatically. Yeah, yeah. My, my son had it. Big Rob Zilla sent that. Not Big Rob. Forget yeah. me. That, that was wrong. No, Rob no. Zilla, who was friends with Big Lenny. Yeah. Um, he's what been so nice. Like- he was texting me. Even He even made it with Mr. Yeah, G, yeah. right, George? Yeah. Yeah, you texted me. He wanted to... He wanted to help. Help. Yeah, you and you blew him off. Yeah, he was reaching out to you. you no, know. I didn't blow. I didn't, hold on, go back. I didn't blow him off. I don't think you wanted anything to do with him, though. Did you? No, not after. Well, not after what he they did. I mean, just 
Well, he tried to apologize and then. I mean, they I made a video. I think he was trying to make amends with everyone. Yeah, I, but, I, I don't. He took, I didn't he know think, he was suicidal, or I don't even know if it was suicide. But I mean, it was suicide or no? Well, I don't no, know. No. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, oh, how no. else? He was. He was a young guy in great health. I mean, what? They, look, what we've lost. We lost thirty-one last year, and they did not. I mean, uh, unless he got vaccinated. Yeah, anyone, well, let me look probably. at the comment, guys. Guys in the comments, you guys know what happened? Anyone? Oh, you're going to get what? all kind of stupid shit now. Yeah, you're going to get all kind of stupid. Well, some of these guys were reporting. I didn't know. And then someone texted me and said, check um, John Bravo's uh, Instagram. And I'm assuming that, uh, you know, it's accurate. He was a really good He player. wouldn't put up something that, well. No, no. I don't think so, anyway. Not about this. I mean, this no. is obvious. It's either yes or no. And it's, it says his girl found him dead in his sleep. Someone on the chat said that. Oh, man. Uh, he died in his sleep? Someone on the chat said that. I don't know how accurate it is. Well, if you're going to go, that's the way to go. Not yeah, he's young. How old was he? That's he's young, young man. He was, he was 28. 25. I worked out with him. I he was fucking 28 years old? PJ yeah, Bond. I, yeah, he was young. Lenny, they were like buddy buddies for a yeah, while. Him and Lenny, and when I went to Florida, we hung out. Oh, that's right. You went there and hung out with them. I forgot that. You filmed with them. Who said that? Who said? Me, man. Uh, Amin yeah. went there. Amin, you went Oh really? No, no, Rob's my friend, dude. I'm really sad yeah. about this. Yeah, oh. I mean, he, and it's funny. He's been texting me and calling me, you know, regularly, you know, like every like couple weeks, and we had been in contact. And he was really, I could tell, he was completely changed. He was kind of sad about what happened. I had sent him some free product for species, and then he, um, he sent my son that really nice gift that was probably cost him a couple hundred bucks. I mean, he's, and, a, he's that kind of guy. He was a really nice, caring person. He was really cool. Yeah. I hope Super it wasn't guy. your stimulus. <laughs> I, I I have a feeling he was very depressed. I, I, that's the only thing I can think. He of. was. He very, he was dealing with that for a while. He'd been dealing with it for a while. It wasn't wasn't. Oh he, really? Is that yeah, true? For a couple just, years, man. I, I mean, we we, we talk. He's my friend. I'm really, this is sad. It's very sad. Well, Dude, that's like, Lenny, Lenny was he on drugs? I mean, was he was he taking drugs no. on and off? Mommy, like, you know, be part like what I'm saying, partying and not partying. Cause that's no. not good for your head, you know. You when, when I spoke to him, he wasn't partying. Bob Bonham. Who, but the, I mean, but listen, you know, but these are these are the group that 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 would take G and stuff like that. And um, a yeah, you know what happens? Days. My friend Bob Bonham killed himself, and he he, he was a very strong-headed day. You know, Bob. He's a very yeah, I know Bob too. Guy, well. But he started because he got depressed over a breakup with a girl. Yeah, he started taking antidepressants. Oh, yeah, you get it. Then you might as well just hang yourself yeah, right away. I, I, I don't think that's rough. I don't think yeah, that's antidepressants rough. bring on depression in some people. And and he started Absolutely. seeing things that weren't there. Tell me, I got Alzheimer's. Yeah. Like that he has uh, Alzheimer's. He's blind. He's this, and none of it was true. Bob, but his Bob, brain Bob, conjured that shit yeah, up. Bob Bonham's situation is tragic. It's horrible. And you're right. His brain made it up. He was also a very good guy. I trained as strong and shapely, um, you know, got my personal training certification there. Oh, I mean, where do you live? I live in Colorado now, but back in Jersey, the though, at the time. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, you know, my brother lived in Jersey and I and I visited him. That's what you knew, my, Dean, you know. Right. You lived in Jersey, too. No, you weren't no, in Jersey. No, I just oh, no, you were in, you were in uh, Virginia, Virginia, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah him and Rob, Lenny and Rob were all set up. They were all set up back when we were going to do the. I had a press conference with them with the fight. We just talked before it. You know, obviously, you know, the played up. The idea was, hey, Rob, you're his manager. Get Lenny. We got a. We had a place for him to train for free. Lenny, to, to film him doing, putting the gi on, doing the whole thing. Let's build this up. And at the end, win, lose, or draw, we'll actually have a match. Shake hands and then use your platform for good. Not fucking doxing people, not doing the, the order sixty six, well, all it, that stuff. That was the whole point. But they, and Mr. G, Mr. G, Rob, Rob, and Lenny had a falling out for that reason. That Rob wanted the channel to go, and they wanted they had different opinions on how the channel was going to go. So did, Lenny, did, did, I wanted to pull a picture of him up. Does anyone know? How, how does Lenny? Uh, I'm sure if you Google, uh, you know his name, Rob, whatever. Yeah, I a lot of people use that name though. But let, let, let me ask you a question: How's Lenny doing? Is he okay? Is he still? I, I gotta call him, and, and I, I messaged him the other day. He had some really bad infection in his leg. I urged him to go to urgent care. He said he didn't have any money. I said, go in there and make up a fake name. You need to get help. You—that's going to go septic. It's bad, bro. 
It was really nasty. Dave, if you would have saw it, you would have told him to go to the ER, too. You'd die from septic and maybe, maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's how he died. And and, and, and oh, Rob, 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 Rob Zilla? Yeah, he's talking that. about Lenny. He's no, talking about Lenny. Lenny, not Rob Zilla. Lenny, not Rob. Lenny, Lenny. And, 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 you know, Lenny doesn't think like that. And, you know, Mr. G, Lenny's a whole different type of person. I know. I know. I get it. I, you know, I mean. But Rob I, is not like that at all. Rob, no, I, I get it. Rob I mean, is this I Rob what you're here? saying. I mean, that's, I, him. Yeah. that's him. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's him. <clears throat> how, come they, how come they're in the ring and you aren't there with Mr. G fighting? No, they were training. They, they were, were, they were, tr they wanted to get into wrestling. Yeah. That's 11 months ago. Yeah. And, and well, they, they, they went. They went one time to this place to, yeah. to train. That's Robert the Beard. They developed, yeah. yeah. So after this is when he started having issues with depression. What a shame. What a young guy, too. And, and I'm yeah. telling you guys, he is a really loving, nice dude. He's not just I show know. off. I mean, like what he did for for uh, for Dave. I mean, for you know, I mean that. That's, he didn't have to do that. I mean, that was a very nice gift he sent my son. Really, really nice, you know. I, I, did he make it from a 3D printer? No, uh, no. He bought it. He bought it from like uh, some website, and he and he when he got it, he said, you know, I, he just looked at it and said, you know, your son's always talking. You know, my son was into like the the Marvel stuff then, and he's like, uh, he just. I think he wanted to like send like a piece. He wanted to let me know that he really, you know, yeah. Sorry that's for whatever happens. happens and everything like that. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to be involved. He wanted to get back. In, he wanted to be involved. No, in not, no, not like that. I, I think it was more like Dave said, like, you know, that I'm cool despite what you think about other people yeah. that I'm with. You know, take me for who I am. Who, Rob? Yeah. <clears throat> he was kind of upset that you weren't, you You didn't want to forgive him, but, you know, I, I but. Well, uh, who I forgave him, but what, I'm not going to work with him. Right. Why, why would I? Well, it, well, somebody, that's why, why, why would I do that, guys? Really after, after we spoke, after we spoke, and, and then they and then they said that we we uh, shook hands. Then they go out and make a video, you know, uh, disparaging uh, my my business. What the fuck? I mean, I'm supposed to say okay? Hmm. I mean, literally. Well, are you sure I, Rob was involved in that? Yeah, they made a Rob and, and Lenny made a video. Don't buy. Don't buy Mr. G's cookies. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what, what they, I mean, come on. I'm like, guys, what are you doing? Why would you do that? So then, then after that, he reached out four months later, you know, because I had spoken to him on the phone. And he told, when we were doing this whole thing, he says, don't fucking call me. Don't, don't I don't have anything to do with you. So then I just blocked his number. The fuck? Okay, you want to be a wacko? Be a wacko. Wait, Rob, if, slow, Rob, if, is, if Rob did that, Mr. G, he was under the influence of something. Well, that's I mean, that's what I'm telling you what he did. Yeah. Because I'm I'm a guy that reaches out and helps people. Yeah, I've always done it my I whole know, life. Know, know, the good man. But I'm not gonna. Man. I'm also not weak. I'm not a me. You know, I'm not, and I'm not gonna. When if they're gonna do that to me, okay, then that's it. I'll I forgive I, you, I, but I I'll never think, trust you again. I understand. We never, I, I don't think none of us did that. All of us guys here. We yeah. never would do that to each other. No, never, ever. No, no, no never. George we could not know. We, we could not see speak for ten years and call up and to be like, "Hey, John, I need this." Or, or David, is, okay, yeah, sure. What do you need? Boom. That's friends. Right. Yeah. True. You know, I mean, right. and, and these guys. I mean, that's what he did to me. So I mean, I have a, and the video is still there. It's mm -hmm. it's still up on YouTube under my. I mean. So uh, they should have took it down if they were sorry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. Or did a rebuttal. Hey, we fucked yeah. up. By but the way, you know what? Hey, hey, hey listen. Hey guys. Awesome. Hey guys. Hey guys. Right. Let's not let's not steer this in the bad direction. No, I'm not yeah. steering yeah. it. But you but when you but I'm gonna he's, the he's, truth he's is passed. the truth. He's passed. It doesn't we'll even matter anymore. Him. We'll say a prayer yeah. for him. He passed. You know, yeah. Yeah. let's let's respect it. His, this unfortunate. He's so young, and I'm sure this is gonna get out. I mean, this just happened. So. A lot of people are going to know about it, and well, a um, lot of people are going to say a lot of stupid shit. A lot of people oh, are going to yeah. say stupid oh, things. Yeah. Gonna... Well, if he died in his sleep, I mean, who knows what? It could yeah, be, I, it could no, be a heart I, attack. I, I was reading that off the comments on, on the show. I don't know. Well, I'm saying it could have been our friend Vinny, our friend Vinny, yeah. Vinny Hansick. Yeah, he died. He 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 died young. How old was Vinny? Thirty what? what two? Call? What about Cole? His son yeah. died even younger. Yeah, OD, no, you know, drug overdose. Dude, he yeah. was. Cool. Was it well, you know what? In, 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 today's, 
in today's day and age, it's very easy to OD by accident because fentanyl. there's so much fentanyl in, yeah. the, in you know in the in the That's drugs. Right. They're all tainted with fentanyl. Yep. I mean, they're even saying now, don't even like if there's like a, a rag on your or a shirt, someone stuffs in your car door, you shouldn't touch it because it can have fentanyl on it, and it could you know. Hey. Get <laughs> The newest thing is, is they're cutting meth with fentanyl. So can you imagine that? If you're oh a, a tweaker and you're going to take meth, you oh. could die. They, they, they take big rips, the tweakers, you know, and yeah. then, ooh, and then you die from the fentanyl. That's just unbelievable. And it's in the Coke, too. Did you yeah. ever see when a cop pulls over somebody? I've seen a oh, cop yeah. pull that shit. All of a sudden, the cop they, pulls they, back. They, and they, they, is there, is there any, I mean, you guys got to yeah. understand. You guys got to pull back for, to the higher view of this. China yeah. Yeah. is at war Absolutely. with us. Oh, and yeah. if, you read, if you read the book, The Art of War by yep. Sun Tzu, yep. you will see clearly, clearly that fentanyl, the everything that they're doing it's like death by a thousand cuts. You know, sure. you're, 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 you know, you you take out a section of the population here, then you give them a virus, and then you do this to their economy, and then you know, so the the, 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 the our our uh, intellectual properties being TikTok, stolen, oh, TikTok, 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 TikTok poison people's it's great. Yes. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok is another another yes. poison yes. children. All yeah. of these various poisons they're injecting into our system. And we're eating it up like candy because kids look at look at this TikTok phenomenon. And that's a pure Unbelievable. that is absolutely them plugging a wire into us, you know, and, and like, downloading. And you, know, you know what the truth is? Like we really need another social media network. Like TikTok is so much better than Instagram. It's exactly the same thing, you know. It's no, but, but TikTok is no. No. no, but yeah, exactly. Dave, TikTok what? is the 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 slime. You Very know, the, sexual. The stupidest stuff you could do. The stupidest right. stuff. You know? But if you look well, at just, the TikTok, has so much more uh, outreach. So you can just scroll and see such what all they, over the place stuff. They, you know? yeah, what they did with TikTok is when people started going on it, someone would post a video and they'd get a million hits. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but if, but there's if no way they got a million too. hits. Jimmy no, the Bull the got a million too. hits on some stupid clip he put up. He doesn't. Even, he did one post. So people love validation. So they. Yeah. They were obviously over rewarding, you know, right, anything yeah. you posted artificially, and that was getting people to say, "Oh, right. I want to post over here. I'm getting a million clicks over here." And you know what the TikTok <laughs> version looks like that they give to their kids? Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's not science, 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 science it's all educational, <laughs> it's all educational yeah. socially yeah. driven. Right. It's all like in good stuff. Well, like, like, John, like, no guy to, wearing this, a wig. The, the, the exact <laughs> The exact they're, opposite they're, of, of what we have the what social we score implemented, John. You know, so if those kids aren't raised correctly socially, then they're going to fail in their system. On right. the other hand, the experiment was to do the opposite with us, and let's see what happens in our generation yeah, when these exactly. kids become adults. How? How do I get on TikTok? TikTok thing? <laughs> I got my pen here. How do I get on TikTok? <laughs> It's like Jim, Jimmy went on all this. It's a half a second video. It's <laughs> half a second. Jimmy goes like this with a dumbbell. And that's it. It got two million views, right? Like this. <laughs> I, I swear <laughs> to God, he got a million views in like, in like, like two Here's minutes. Jimmy the Bull's video. Take that. That neck breaking video I posted, I got over a million something views. <laughs> the guy that squatted broke his neck. Yeah, yeah Armand, and that's a repost, Armand. That's a repost. Armand was telling us before the show that he's 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 been going with for, for uh, diagnostic tests. What's going on? Fill us in for people. That well, know. you know, I've been dealing with sleep apnea for. Uh, I got diagnosed five years ago. I ignored it because if I still slept face down, um, my sleep apnea wasn't that bad. Face so, down, the size that you are. Right. So. How? I was saying, how do you sleep? <laughs> hold on, hold on. How do you sleep face down? Where do you put your hands? You I, I'll put like one you. hand here and the other hand like down there and just kind of like just wherever. I would have I sucked up and hurt. died at that, at that body weight. So, um, no one I was, can't breathe. When I was doing all my pain meds and stuff during those five years, I wasn't really training that much. I'd go to the gym once a week. So when I got clean two and a half years ago, I started going back to the gym on a regular basis. And I was and I was not taking my testosterone replacement either. So I started back my testosterone replacement, and I started uh, working out again. I got up to like two fifty five, and then my weight just kept going up. And then I did go a little. I did go a little higher. I went to like five hundred tests, 
And then gradually, just these past, um, I would say, past four months, my weight went up to about 280. And um, it's a lean 280. I mean, I get really, I've always hold a lot of fluid in my face. But I started holding like some fluid on my ankles and my ankles are always really, really tiny. I don't have cankles at all. And so uh, uh, talk to my sleep, talk to my doctor. He thinks it's my sleep apnea. Um, so I just did my sleep apnea test retest um, last week. And I saw the doctor actually today. We went over everything and I saw a cardiologist the other day because I'm like, dude, I keep swelling up. And, he, you know, so he thinks it's. Um, he says, yeah, that can have a lot to do with your sleep apnea. Let's rule out some other things, though. Let's rule out the um, last, whatever we were talking about earlier, Dave, the whole. Uh, well, let, let me just say this. He had, Armand had an echocardiogram. His cardiac output is better than anyone I know. It was like over 65. So that's really good. And you said you, your kidney function is really good. You, yeah. you have no high creatinine. So that's used. That could be the culprit of, of fluid retention. But then, then they suggested, I guess, that you potentially could have what's called a hole in the heart. Now, when you're born, you have a before you're born and in, in you're an embryo, you have an opening between the two the the two atria of your of your heart, the right and left side, because you don't the blood doesn't go to the lungs because you're not breathing. So, and when you're born, that there's a flap that closes, and and because you don't want the blood mixing once you're born, because then you're going to have deoxygenated and oxygenated blood mixing, but sometimes it doesn't close. He has, they think what he has is a, what's called an atrial uh, defect um, where the actual wall of the chamber is not, the flap closed, but there's a defect in the wall. But that seems very far-fetched to uh, Armand, to be honest with you. So, you know? I mean, the cardiologist said he saw something on the CD that could have, that he goes, let's just rule it out. I have a better, run. I have a better suggestion. Why don't you drop, like 25 pounds we said that three weeks ago yeah the thing is, I'm, not doing, I'm not doing anything right now to gain why weight. don't you diet and just lose the weight Cut your I, carbs I, just, back. I just started eating clean a few weeks ago and that's what you said three weeks ago you, said three, you gained weight i don't have okay, i don't have that you gained on 20 me. pounds since Dude, last get, last get, on that set, that on get on that get on for water retention Get on for some 75 hard program, man. You'll you, he's got to go to one that, meal a day I've been for 50 days now. I got shredded. You that Dude, would take if you want to lose weight, get on well, that my 25 my my program. Your ass is with some weight. <laughs> my metabolism has always been through the roof, though. So I started you eating a little great clean, videos, and, and all your videos I have, look great. I don't have much fat on me at all, it's just water. So the other day, my, my doctor was like, take some dies dies three days in a row and i did and i'm like oh my gosh it looks like i lost you know 10 pounds of water i get on the scale i'm like 275 i only lost like five pounds of water i'm just like ripped because the water's gone and so um the sleep apnea doctor thinks because i'll like when i wake up so i'll sleep about two hours and then when i wake up i don't go sit down when i can't sleep at night i'll stand up and like lean on my seat so I, all that pressure is just on my legs from you know all day so my ankle started swelling up a little bit with water retention. So they're just trying to rule out everything. They think it's the sleep apnea that's really messing you should, up. I think if you drop 25 pounds, which you probably should, I think your, all your problems will be solved. Your, your yeah, sleep I'm gonna, apnea, I'm gonna do your, your, your water retention, everything. I'm going to do another photo shoot in September, and that gives me the motivation to do that. So why I'll walk drop around at why walk around at 280 at this point? You're not. I even don't competing. try to, Dave. I'm not trying to. How many really times are you eating? I eat three meals a day. And how many shakes? I don't. I really don't do shakes that much. I'll do maybe so, uh, so maybe ice flies in the morning. Three times a day meals and make them more frequent. Yeah. I think right. What are, are you on anabolics? I'm on uh, testosterone. Yeah, I'm on testosterone, and then I'll take uh, I'll take bar like twice a year. Armand, my doctor. You said you, said you took uh, the diazide and only helped you lose a couple pounds. So that obviously is something you don't want to do because you'll rebound from that. Right, um, right, right, Dave, right. Don't you have something that, Dave, don't you have a natural product that helps you lose water? Or something? I'm taking all Dave's products. I wouldn't take any or any even herbal diuretics because you'll rebound off those no. too. I, I, no if he's holding water. that much water, the only way to hold that much water is that means you have a full glycogen storage in your muscles and your liver. 
deplete that down and you're going to lose the water. You have to, unless your kidneys are not working, which we know yours are working because yeah. your, your creatinine is fine. And your yeah, heart I, is I working. sent you my blood work and you, you and yeah, you even said your fine. creatine's good. I, so, I just um, think you're, you have too much weight on your body. That's all. I just need to do cardio. I don't do cardio. And I that's in the habit because I, I never had to do back. cardio. Eat eat a hundred eat seventy five grams of carbs a day. You'll you'll drop all that water. <laughs> Guaranteed. Hey, so you can't, I'll set up a photo shoot in in the next month or so, and I'll give I'll give I'll do like a four week diet for that, and I'll strip the weight off, and I'll stay around two sixty five. Why would why would you why wouldn't you just give him no carbs and just let it? Well, I'm just saying, if he no wants carbs. to eat something, he's only eating three times a day anyway, John. So I, I mean, would cut it back to two and just fucking yeah. stop. No. Yeah. Well, Dave, Dave yeah, had to do it. Dave, he should be eating Dave five times up. a day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Dave, because he should be—he yeah. should be get—he he should be paring his weight down. Protein and veg, protein. Right, and but I think you need to eat more frequently, like Amin said, so to yeah. stimulate his metabolism. Because I think it's it's he's sluggish now. I don't think his metabolism is the and problem. And I do snack on fruit. Dave knows how fast food. my metabolism is. Even at almost forty, I, it's my metabolism is really really fast. So, so take advantage of it, Armand, and eat more frequently because then you'll just speed it up even more and you'll burn yeah, the. School. I don't if have the you're appetite. You're too and you can't lose weight. You, your, you metabolism ain't, your metabolism ain't that fast. I got right. <laughs> you, you, you it that fast, you lose the weight. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good, it's good weight. It's not like, you know, if no, I see I know, someone... But if, if I see someone I at the gym, they're like at muscle building. I don't think your metabolism is that good. If I don't eat, if I eat twice or three times a day, I'll, I'll lose twenty pounds in, in two weeks. Yeah, you know, so that's yeah, yeah, a yeah. fast metabolism. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna add the cardio in. I think that will do it. Just twenty uh, minutes I, a day. I got a question for you. You said that you sleep face down. That's when you're not using the machine, right? You don't use the machine face down, do you? I went today to get the machine recalibrated, so I'm gonna. Start trying to use the machine again tonight after five years. Yeah. But what I'm asking you is, is did you use the machine face down? You can't do that. You can't. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you do sleep on your back with the machine. You, with, the, with the machine, you have to sleep on it because it has a. You know, I have a great idea. Out. Hold on. I have a good idea for you, Armand. I have a market. It's a marketing idea. Okay. You should take some pictures. Go, go drink a lot of fluid and get all bloated as much as you can. Get up to 290 by tomorrow and take <laughs> pictures before pictures. And then, you know, create create some cockamamie insane diet that you do, and and, and <laughs> show everyone the, their progress every week. You'll probably drop ten pounds a week for the next four weeks. You know, people will be like, "You lost forty pounds in three weeks! Holy shit! This right. must be the greatest new diet of all time." Cryogenics. Uh, Armand, you can use Chat GPT. We'll do it for you. There you, you go. Just you put the pictures in. But really, it's the, but really the last two months is when the water retention. Has became a problem. Like has it I been hold stressful? a lot in my face, and then it came in my ankles. Too. Yeah, what is stressful? Because I was holding. Well, I talked to Dave, and there was nothing unusual. But I started holding a lot of water in my in my ankles. My feet were puffing up, and I couldn't yeah. figure out why. I mean, I we ended up figuring out why I was eating too much salt. But in your in your case, and stress in your case, are you having any additional stress? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, yeah. A lot of stress. I think that had a lot to do with my feet going. <laughs> You could do the in and out burger diet or something like that. You know? That's what I did. That's why I ended up having <laughs> What about, hey, what about, about, could do that what about the Cali muscle diet? Just eat watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, oh yeah. God. <laughs> I That's stopped so cool. Every, every day have, I was doing have burger Have you ever done that? Fries. Yeah. Have you ever I was done doing that? a Giro and fries. I cut that out a few months ago. Giro. I feel way better. Giro. I just cut that out. <laughs> Giro, Giro, Giro. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. Greg brought it up though. Listen, yeah, that was Kelly Muscle. Hold on, everybody. Let's take. Hey, wait, wait. Break. He died of what? Go back. Who? Put that oh, wait, back, huh? Well, Wild right, Joker huh? said, "I didn't see it. What did he say? What did he die? Oh, what is this? Oh, no, 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 that, that was what he was that talking was. about. Well, my my theory no. too is like I retired at thirty one because of two shoulder surgeries, uh, so I was going like this when I retired. So I took off all this time. I came back. Oh, you, know, what, start, you flex your biceps, uh, uh, Armand. That's uh, five twenty-five a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and a boy, Armand. <laughs> it's hard to. Just, it's hard to. Yeah, you, 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 I got news to you. You look like you're on two Anadrols a day, a thousand milligrams of plastin. Look at that. Yeah. He's got that. He's got that. That look. You're right. Which Which big you? you can see your tricep better from that side. <laughs> light. The lights. Hold on, oh, let me zoom mind. in on you. Hold on, there we go. All right. We're going to make you Pull it up from the front. We can't. Yeah, let's see the front. Don't hide it. You're a big guy. You have to show the muscle. Show the muscle. 
Stretch out. He looks bigger than the guys who just won the USA. I know. He's got a good, he's got a good too. What are those, bro? 21s? Uh, my, my wife actually measured him the other day. Yeah, 21. 21 he always and a half. had good arms, though. He always had good arms. Dave, he's got good everything. He's got wide clavicles. I don't know what yeah. his back looks like, but his chest is full. He's got a good back, too. He's got good abs. Good, he good can turn for hour if he wanted to. If he got his head yeah, together, he could. he'd do it. Could that I, absolutely win Masters Nationals, no doubt I, about I that. I get off steroid testing in another year, so. What do your yeah. wheels look like? Your legs. My legs are good. I've always played soccer, so I I, I, I train legs about once every three weeks now because I'm in, my knees have oh, issues, yeah. but my legs are good. Do you oh, still sweet. play soccer? No, <laughs> at two eighty. No. <laughs> <laughs> you kick that Don't ball. do that! Don't no, do that! He's one of those sudden deaths where he just does dies on the field. I'll rip something <laughs> if I try to kick a soccer ball like I used to. That's funny. You should do the Cali Muscle. All <laughs> okay, no, but like, like I said, I was supposed to do Cali Muscle. Cali Muscle. I was supposed everybody. to do gaining muscle. So when I stopped my opiate addiction, I came back to lifting weights. And so that was from like, you know, the past three years. My, I just put muscle on really, really fast. And my wife was like, oh, my gosh, you're huge. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, I just I haven't like I, you know, I tell people they, they didn't believe me that I wasn't hardly training at all and and all that. So um, you were, you, you when were. she said you were huge, you just said you should see my muscles. Yeah. Ah, there you go. But, but I get accused of doing crazy cycles all the time. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's uh, like just uh, Dave. Dave just Dave said you look like you're taking two hands. <laughs> I train really light in the gym. I just do like a little pump, like a little pump. Armand, you look hard, bro. Dude, seriously, your your arm is hard. So to look at that arm as hard as it is, and then to think that you have swelling in your ankle and your feet, I could see why that would be concerning. Yeah, but I agree with Dave. I think I think if, you know you want to live. You don't want to be like one of these guys. I, I can't lose weight because I'm afraid if I shrink, I'm, my mind's gonna fuck me up. You know, this light's weird. Yeah. When I use my ring light, it's it doesn't show your cuts either. My arms look way better than it shows. No, I can see they're hard. I can <laughs> see your arms hard. Yeah, and you see the, the whole. Yeah, I mean. I guess you could put on muscle pretty easily. Yeah. I want to know what Amin wanted to say about Cali muscle because I want to hear okay, that. Bro, I don't, believe, like, he's, I don't I, believe he's doing watermelon diets. Bullshit. Okay, no, 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 I'm just talking about look, look at this guy from from the very beginning, right? And I'm I'm not saying good or bad. It's just whatever he did, it was a great for him. Okay. Gets out of prison, does the fresh out video that Larry did. I think he's on one of those. Starts training, gets huge, says he's natural. Does it show? Uh, I don't think he got his pro card, correct, Dave? No. no. He just did the Sacramento, right? Right. But he has no, he didn't have any wheels. He's funny, oh, though. Yeah. He makes me laugh my ass. He's hilarious. Hilarious. He's hilarious. And, he's then, hilarious. and then, and then he's he, funny as hell. He goes from there and had an unfortunate heart attack. He's got a million followers on Instagram, by the way. Yeah, he's got like two. Dude, yeah. he, did you ever watch the one where he said, I'm going to show you, know, you guys all say, it's the watermelon one you guys are talking yeah. about. Wait, and he goes, stuff is a little rude to people, like nice people that I don't like. It's like he downsized he quite a bit since he, you know, he had his. Yeah. He's downsized quite a bit. He has. He talks about having loose skin, but you know, I mean, it's it's. He did a complete flip on bodybuilding, a complete flip on bodybuilding. Oh yeah, now he's he doesn't want to look weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's I think weight. that's wrong because just because you had a heart attack because you abused the drugs, and he said he abused the drugs. That doesn't mean bodybuilding is bad. That means you just didn't do it right. Well, yeah, his heart attack is due time. to that on me. I, I don't heart. know. I, I I have no idea. He or lied just... the whole time and said he was natural. And yeah. Just, you know, he, you know, I mean, he, you could see he was really bloated. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was bloated. I left I mean, my answer. The, the great, too. The, the mukbang videos at, at McDonald's. At, the, these type of things, and I, I don't want to mention other other people that aren't alive, but these type of like promoting this type of bad behavior, this has to stop. The, no, I agree. You know, yeah. I knew it's, wrong. It, it's like when Piana like, used to be like you know. fruity pebbles and fucking uh, and applesauce and all that shit, and it's like a thousand grams of sugar in there, and you idiots that, believe that. Yeah. I think we're the only ones who tell the truth over here. To be like honest Dave, Dave, go to my Instagram Even when we lie, right now we and show like a workout clip. I put I post <laughs> workout clips every few days. Oh, have you really guys funny. seen Sam Solak? Solak, have you seen this guy? Oh do yeah. You see the way, Dave, do you see the way this guy eats? And I think I think Flood sponsored him. Jump I, think, off. I think he's got he a was smart to sponsor him because he gets so many views. Yeah. What? 
sponsor. Yeah, but he gets so many views. But now look at what this stuff has done to him. His side that's effects are horrible. Is that the kid that two years know. ago he was skinny like a bro, like, he, he needs to take I'm this I'm in the video and you like, One at a time, guys. One at a time. One at a time. Me and John, me and John Bravo were talking. John Bravo made like a video on him. Not bad. He, they, people attack you if you say anything about this Sam kid. And people are just saying, hey, you might want to watch your health. It's, it's you know. That's from a photo shoot from last year when I got in shape. I was about 260 right. there. You look good, Armand. You should I mean, go it's, back. It's, it's chopped a little bit, great. but, you know. Armand, uh, why do you have the space between your abs like that? Somebody Linea Alba, why, I, since, I've, as, ha, as, since a kid, I've had my abs like that. Yeah, it's just genetic. Yeah, just yeah. like a wide, wide Linea Alba. Yeah, yeah. I know, I just wanted to know if it was genetic or not. I've seen some people have it, some people don't. Some people get it. Like, it seems like Ronnie Coleman, it became worse with his career but um it's just it's what is it just connective tissue you know i i think it's been, i've i've got prone to hernias by having that because there's no protective yeah. tissue there because i've i've had i've had five hernia surgeries yeah you said that's insane you know, i think oh. what happens is as we get older right. the connective tissue becomes less you know willing to go back it's like a woman who she gets pregnant it stretches yeah. out that fascia around the abs so the abs kind of hang out more i think from from being so big when i was that big and i was eating so much volume every day i think it stretched out mine and so now as we get older if you want to have a flat stomach you got to suck it in when you're 18 years old 20 years old it just stays in because the, the connective tissue yeah. is so tight you know maybe it it's a woman maybe who because... remember remember the girls when they were 18 years old you know they <laughs> When they take the shirt off, their boobs just stay. They look like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they have breast implants. Yeah. When they hit 30, you know, they start to droop a little bit, you know. But like <laughs> me, I've also, always had that in between my abs since I was 16. It has yeah, got a little bit it. wider, but um and then Haney uh, has it too. Lee Haney. Haney has it, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, though, you know, I think one one thing that is personally I've known, I never got that big. And so now everything's still the same. It's all still, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I think the most I ever was was like 192, maybe in good condition. That's, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. I knew I couldn't do it. That's why I didn't push it. I didn't want to be right. someone who was wrecked from the stuff because I because I couldn't control my ego. Yeah, I think I mean I, I think I'm gonna have Dave help me do masters uh in another year or so just to say, absolutely. hey, I'm doing a show, here's my card, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> What yeah, was the last was, show you won? Thanks, Dave. What, I'm glad you pulled this up. Who's yeah, that? Let's right. talk about Sam Sulek for a second. Yeah. He's a yeah, yeah. Poker. So he's 21. Yeah. Um, he has Great a huge potential. social media. I didn't know he. I didn't know who he was. Dollars. Yeah, I didn't know who he was until about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And then someone asked me, "What do I think about him?" I looked up his profile. I said, "Yeah, he's a big kid. He, he looks four pretty, posts." <laughs> no, you got to go to his uh, YouTube. Yeah. His uh, YouTube. Oh. Did he, he go was, from really skinny to getting really big? Yeah, old, yeah. Like, he was like a swimmer. A lot of junk but, food, I think. That's but he has this yeah, acne. Thing. He has this acne all over his face and arms. Oh, and, yes, bro. It's, it's horrible. It's bad. And, right you know, and in two years, his face, especially his his jaw, has got yeah. like triple the size. Yeah. And the so, acne on his face, too. Yeah. Look, he let me tell you he he's natural, right? He's all natural. Dave, Dave there's a no, there's a video. Been, yeah. Dave, there's a video from I think it's from Hostel where okay. where they go grocery shopping and there's one where he's eating a day's worth of food for him. Try see if you can find oh, that. Oh, with the quart of chocolate food. milk. Uh, yes, that's it. The chocolate yeah. milk, correct? In hey, the morning. I, I gotta go. Cops are here again. Oh yeah. lord! Yeah, no, there's something going on next door. I gotta. Right. I mean, you're not allowed to go. What are you talking about? I I, I, I I'll be right back. <laughs> So Hostel, not allowed to <laughs> Hostel made a good deal with this because Sam yeah. gets about 300,000 views just on his YouTube every day. Yeah, All wow. he does is he videotapes his workout from beginning to end every day. His yeah. form's horrible. Yeah. And then Hostel was like, they can't keep any pros. I get yeah. Everybody's noticed that. They have a pro, he they lose it. Pro, they lose it. He sees this kid. And it says, hey, I want to offer you a contract. Yep. This kid, no one else is going to offer this kid a contract. Right. So he's like, oh, shit, for sure. Yep. Without even knowing the details. Never so, competed either. No. Hey, I'm not trying to be cocky, bro. But when I was fucking 20, I would have destroyed him. As, and I was natural. 
a hundred percent natural. Bro, I said I'm that, that and I got for the bottom of my there. feet. Let, let me explain to you head. guys. We live in a world. Now, I was natural, Greg. We live in a world where your social media following is more important than how you look, how you place at a show. You know, and if it you doesn't die, matter anymore. These and you, companies and you, think people think it's a mistake. I think it's a mistake. First of all, 100%. just because a person just because a person has a big following on social media doesn't mean they're going to bring your company money. And so mm -hmm. what happens is people take these big risks and they throw these contracts at these people. Mm -hmm. And then they realize, you know what? The one post they're because you can't post th th this guy can't post every post about, you know, Fuad's products. Right. But Fuad's got to pay him every week or every month or however he's paying him. So what happens is you start to realize, you know what? I'm really not getting a good return on my money. Even though the guy is super popular, he's got a million, you know, all these people following him, even some of the pro athletes, it's great to have those guys on your team. But when you got to pay them, you know, $150,000 a year, at the end of the year, you're like, did I make $150,000 in business from this guy? Probably not. So I don't, I don't think Fuad's losing these, these athletes. I think he just realizes probably that, you know what? They're just not paying. They're not paying for themselves. Right. Yeah, but Jay, to me, okay. he's promoting this kid. He's helping this kid want to kill himself because this kid thinks in his head, "Oh, I'm going to get a contract." Maybe, and he's, gonna gonna say, maybe he's saving this kid. Maybe he's going to try to help guys right. in the right no, direction. He's, you know, he's pushing him. This kid's going to take more babanya to get even bigger. I don't think it's the babanya. I think ago, he's eating a lot. I think small. he's eating a lot of. Thank you. Greg, I think he's eating a lot of junk food. He you is. Know, you have bad acne. Hold on. Hold on. When you have bad skin, okay, yeah. and you're and you're what I call an oil secret. Everyone gets rid of toxins from their body differently. Some people dump it into their stomach, and that those are the people who get prone to like acid reflux disease. Some people release it from the skin, like us greasy Italians. That's me. So when I would take gear, I always got bad acne from it because that's how my body rids itself of, of, of toxins. Mm -hmm. And other people get rid of it in, in in other ways, you know. But the bottom line is that. If you eat a lot of junk food and a lot of milk products and sugar, and you happen to be an oil secretor, that's like you're feeding the bacteria on your skin, but, but and they just go that. crazy, and they produce tons and tons of cystic acne. Bro, that he, he drank a quart of chocolate milk Ooh, before his workout. I could you never do that. that. Oh, my God. I would be puking but you're and shitting my brains out steroids. the whole workout. Forget with the steroids food. for a second. Forget with the steroids for a second. Steroids, yeah. with steroids, with steroids will make your skin secrete more oils. I agree. Right. But you're feeding, you're feeding the skin bacteria with right. the terrible right. foods. If he cleaned up his diet, he wouldn't break out as much. If, you know, like, well, he's I'm telling you, it's we, not we, normal we, to gain fucking, uh, 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 you know, 100 pounds. Right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something when I first started, all right? I was a runner. I used to starve myself down to weight. My normal weight wasn't 140 pounds, but I, I was running 10 miles a day, and I was eating two meals a day, okay? When I started eating, and I didn't eat junk food, you know, but when I started eating and training, I gained like 70 pounds in the first year. OK, you know, and then I gained another like 40 the year after that. And then it all told that in five years, I gained 100, you know, 130 pounds or something like that wow. fr uh, from my running weight up to that. Yeah. Now I was taking drugs, but I wasn't taking excessive amounts of them, but I was eating like crazy and I was training heavy. So guys go through growth spurts differently. I can see him growing. The right. problem I have in that, you know, which is which is probably going to, you know, hurt his skin long term because you don't want to get scarring on your yeah. face is he's got really bad acne, you know, and that's probably the most dangerous thing he's doing to himself. I don't think he's necessarily harming himself. His age eat junk food. Kids his age eat Not every food. meal, Greg. Come on. Doritos. Dave, 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 Greg, Greg. Listen, this don't eat his Doritos. -workout, okay. His post-workout meal was five guys, bro. Five guys. I Does eat he do this every, every day? day? What's the big deal? Who knows? I eat McDonald's. Bro. It's too <laughs> much. But yeah, but he, he has a cult like following, like and yeah. like you, you can make a video about him and not say anything bad, and people start attacking yeah. you. Like, Hard mind, if I would have documented what I did on a daily basis when I started bodybuilding, you know, and showed my progress. I would have probably had 10 million followers. All of no us, if we all had social media when we were younger. You would have seen how much food I ate on a daily like, basis. People would have lost them. I used to go to the diner every night at 12 midnight, a la Greg uh, Valentino. And I would order like, like 14 scrambled eggs with like, you know, French toast. And, you know, sometimes I would order like 
you know, three hamburgers with like three plates of French fries. And I would eat that and then go home and I'd still have another shake before bed. I mean, it was, it was crazy. I uh, ate 11 slices of pizza. Uh, the good, the good old kids days. don't know it. Good old days. And you ate it once, I, I did it every night. I did with, that. But still, when they see it on I'm camera like this, this it's then all the kids want to do it. it, it they're is, like, oh, we have to eat all this food. Of course. Thank like you. Sam. Thank you. You have to be like Sam. And he's whole and his whole stick is like he has a great oh, metabolism. He can burn he burns up. I don't up need a, girl, don't yeah, need a, a girlfriend. Swimmer. Just train hard. The gym is all I need. I oh. feel bad for the kid. What kind hold of normal on, shit on, is that? On. I don't I know. know. Yeah. If, if, if he would hear this. take a DHT blocker, you know, he probably would cure 90% of his acne because Wait, he I, I, got, I gotta call Greg on that. something. Wait, Greg, Greg. All right. Back. I don't need a girlfriend. When you were a kid. And your family was going to the beach. Where did they drop you off? <laughs> <laughs> the gym, right? You trained. Right. Your family went to the beach, and you <laughs> trained all fucking day, right? Yes or no? Right. Oh, they talked about that. In my is that fucking normal? Yes. <laughs> no, but, but Don, I had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend. I worked. I was. Yeah, an but you, but you, days. you made your world your way to yeah, con yeah. to conform to your desire, your insane desire to be a yeah. bodybuilder. Okay. But you can't this fault. Kid by, you can't by, fault this guy for doing the same thing. I don't guy, fault him. You, could you imagine the damage you would have done to young guys if you had <laughs> chronicled your whole journey with, with everything <laughs> on, on TikTok? <laughs> you would have been on his arm job was enough. Wait, he's a young kid, <laughs> and I blame everybody around him. It's not normal to not have a girl. I don't need a girlfriend. I have the gym. You know what I mean? I, you know, all I do is. Who's fit? Where's he making the money to eat all them burgers? Mom and dad. Because yeah. he doesn't have a fucking girlfriend. That's why. I thought, I thought of the baboon <laughs> or whatever. Just paying him a hundred. Hey, we all, I have, feel we bad all for had our here. Here. All that so girlfriend money he's stuff. using on buying cows. Yes, right. I feel bad for <laughs> that he's kid. He's not going to grow eating chicken breast and broccoli. Him out. That's right. I give him a break. He's not going to grow eating chicken breast and broccoli. No, he's but he can grow eating steak, eggs, uh, potatoes. Yeah. That's because well, you're all, taking all 20 Anadrol a day. Look, 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 hold on. The, the, well, I'm uh, sure he is. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure he's cereal. taking some Cinnamon serious toast stuff. crunch, dude. I, look, I mean, you, guys, you guys are bashing him for the wrong reasons. reasons. It's, it's, look, uh, Mahalik had me 17,000 calories you're a day. Guilty. <laughs> you're just as guilty. 17,000. We all did the day same stuff as him. We all ate like junk. Yeah, I ate like up. that. I ate all that stuff. Yeah, but George, you weren't fucking 20 years old in, in two years. Two years I was ago, 20, you were like, I was 25. I was 25 it, when Mahalik didn't start. Right, and you had that. a girlfriend and all that kind of 17, shit. 17,000 calories. 30,000 on Sundays. But their baseline of drugs is way different. Yeah, 30, 30,000 so calories on every is Sunday. Way up here. They're taking you know, four anadrols a day. Graham and Trin a week, you know, 10, I use a GH a day. That's bad. That's bad. I see him as like another maybe Trey Brewer type guy if he doesn't get the right guidance. Holy shit. I agree with you. Oh, what's Trey Brewer? That guy's on, name. Um, what happened Thank to him? You, Trey Brewer. I was thinking, it, um, Amon, I was thinking the same thing, but I couldn't remember his name. Trey Brewer, this monster. You know, oh, the next Mr. Yeah, Olympia. Yeah. Where is yeah. he? Most people what watching happened? this don't even know who the fuck he is. What happened to him? He Sunday's news on Monday, bro. He went back to being a firefighter, got out of weight, couldn't get in shape anymore because the, the the younger people don't understand if you're doing all this hard juice when you're young, your body stops responding. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, I think he was a Common kid sense. in school, insecure, like a lot of us, whatever. Um, I, I was different in school, but got some muscle, got some attention. Hey, this is my deal. You know, he loves the attention, and yeah, he needs to clear up his acne. I think they're working on it. I think his acne is getting a little better. Hopefully, um, hostile, uh, ho hopefully, Fouad gain steers him in the right direction. That's I saw Fouad eating a bowl of cereal the other day, so it doesn't exactly. seem like he it seems is. It's going the other way. It seems like he's jump he's yeah. like jumping on the, the Sam bandwagon. You know what I mean? It's, That's it's, what I'm saying. I don't blame the kid. I blame I guarantee you that contract, though, is a contract that's this much for Fouad and this much oh, of for course. Sam. Right. Of course. He's I, I work blame the guys off. around him. They're whoring him out. First off, first off, off. He and they don't care. Don't root so. him on. Keep eating calories. More trend. More, more fucking energy. Keep doing it. Get, oh, man, you're getting huge. So that's going to make the kid fucking have kidney problems and, you know, 
That's but, what's Greg, going to happen. This hostel is a, is a supplement company that caters to bodybuilders, okay? This guy hasn't won a show yet. He's bodybuilding. But this is all social media. He's trying to capitalize off of his momentum. Yeah, but are we watching yeah. the next Boston Lloyd? Is that what's happening? It's possibly. That's that my whole point. Yeah, but, that's he, doesn't, my whole point he doesn't man. go online and talk about the insane dosages he's yeah. taking of anything. No, he doesn't do that, that, but he might be taking that. With these guys rooting him on, you understand. You get this guy that was a pro bodybuilder, SWAT dude, and he's fucking pumping you with shit. Yeah, bro, you're looking jacked. Up the end, yeah. up the end. Yeah, bro, more trend, more trend. Yeah, I, 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 I disagree. I disagree. I think ever. that, I think no, that wait, it's hold amazing. It. Hold, hold. You got, you're going to get in trouble. Because how do you know that's what he's saying? No, I'm not saying that he's you saying that. You just said it. The kid's brain is saying no, that. No, you can't do that, Greg. You get no, us in no, trouble. We get sued. Let me, let me, no, no, no. Let me explain myself. I'm not saying that guy, that guy's saying that, the flawed guy. I'm not saying that he's saying that. I'm saying, he's saying, dude, you look jacked. You look jacked. So the kid's going to say, this, I need more trend. I need I more. Know I, he's need saying more he trend. I think that I, I would actually discourage him from doing so okay, much drugs. Okay, I'm not saying that. You gotta be really careful with that shit. I'm not saying you that he's telling put, the kid to you, do you're that. You're gonna get us sued. You can't put words in somebody's I, mouth. I just finished saying holy shit. I'm saying yeah. he's. But when you tell a kid, bro, you look jacked. How do you know? You can't you know? say that. Well, he did oh, say, he, he did say you can't say one of the most impressive guys I've ever seen. You cannot say that. I'm but John, say John, what people are saying. saying that. On a whole nother note, John, okay? Oh. Uh, androgens, androgens specifically. And, and I'm, I'm not, not talking saying. about him. I'm, I'm talking about me when I was a teenager, when I was young. You know, he's older. Okay, yeah, but when you say, okay. dude, you're looking jacked, you don't know he's saying that. No, we don't. No, I'm Greg. not saying so that you, the guy's swat his hand. I'm saying it's a kid thinks like, dude, he. This big guy, this pro bodybuilder guy, is telling me I look jacked. I, you know what? I need even more anadrol now. I, 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 honestly, you, I didn't you're, you're walking point. right past my point, dude. You Thank don't you. know he's saying that. Okay, so I, this I'm is what he did it. say. He seemed, Sam so he seems went, pretty humble. Like this I didn't is what he did say. say. So he went to go visit Sam. Thank he you. worked out the day with Wait, Sam. Who's Sam. The kid. kid. Okay. Right. The kid. The kid. He went wait, to work out with the day with Sam. Wait, 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 wait. Back up. Faud went, went to see Sam. Well, I went to see okay. Sam to work out with him today, check him out. <laughs> and he's just like, I'm going to tell you, dude, like, I've never, what I've seen here is, is super impressive. How would you like to, I, ne I don't really, I've never really done something like this, but how about I'm um, thinking about giving you a, a contract if you would uh, it was set up. to the terms? Oh, my. The whole go. thing was set Thank up you. ahead of time. Yeah, of course. Of course but, you know, it's the whole bodybuilding acting. You look like you're going to drink a half gallon of uh, whatever it is, a quart of uh, chocolate milk. Well, but it's right. natural but the, for the kids would, to start Greg drinking. Greg would have sprayed the walls with, 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 with diarrhea if he well, would have. It would be coming out of both holes. That is yeah. disgusting. Me too. But listen, no, I'm just you would have doing that. You would have sprayed the wall. You know, hold on. You know, Dave, Dave, you know what's sad about this whole thing? That would have been a great opportunity for him to drink a hostile shake and they wasted it. They wasted it on the stupid chocolate milk. Well, he's being honest. This is, what the kid, this is what the kid uses. So, so how is it? He's wearing what, the hospital shirt already. already. That's my him. point. What, what's he spon Is podcast is sponsoring him or yeah. is that a supplement company? or yeah, supplement, supplement company. company. He well, has yeah. cereal. So all his videos go through hostels now, too. So look. The number, the number one and two things that irritate acne is dairy and sugar. Uh -huh. And that's all this guy seems to be eating. <laughs> and and drinking milk. milk. Chocolate when you milk eat with that sugar, much sugar, cereal with sugar. That's what I mean. Well, he ate that as a swimmer. He was training like swimming. He was eating like. Does he live with his parents? Yeah. Oh, that's a yeah. fucking nice house. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. I was going to say that, I John. Look at, look, at the, look at the kitchen. I think that's Fouad's house. Oh, it no. Is. That's his house. Fouad doesn't have milk in the fridge, bro. That's his mom's house. Oh, okay. No, seriously, John, that's his mom's house. It's that's a beautiful house, house, is what I'm saying. It's a beautiful it's house. Yeah. Okay, it's a mahogany table, dude. This is like you what know, the, the family has money. It's beautiful. So his, his parents might be helping him out with his bodybuilding stuff. Sure, it would seem that way. I mean, they're paying for the, the food channel. So 
He's yeah, got the cereal normal. on the counter. So. That's normal. <laughs> your parents are so doing it. Fuad's letting him do this because it's it's sensationalistic, and that's yeah, what's I'm getting not hit. Putting Fuad, you know? I'm not putting that guy Fuad down. I'm not saying he's saying it. I'm oh, saying it's Fuad. natural. When you get attention, you're like, dude, now i got to get bigger. Yeah, but, but that's that's gen you're generalizing, attention. though, Greg. You're generalizing it. That's yeah, not I'm supposing it's, fact's not in evidence, and that's I dangerous. I didn't say it's fact. I'm saying you're thinking, your mindset. How do you Greg, let me let me ask you a question, Greg. Let me ask you a question. What? You right. can't do When that. you first, hold on, Greg, John, one second. When you first started bodybuilding, okay, yes. you didn't know anything. I had and you, you heard, and maybe... Maybe this doesn't apply to you, but it applies to most people. You do the quote bulk diet, right? You'll yes. it's like eat ice cream. You'll you'll rationalize eating that. anything to gain weight, right? Because right. I gotta I gain weight, I gotta bulk up, gotta bulk up. This kid has obviously did that whole philosophy, and it worked for him because he's whatever, he's got genetic predisposition right. to put muscle on. Yeah. So he's continuing to do it. It's a it's a catch, it's a sticky thing. People like to see people eating, you know, 15 McDonald's cheeseburgers and drinking a gallon of milk because it's 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 sensational. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I'm gonna follow them, it's but it's cool thing. to watch. I, yeah, it's interesting to watch. That's it's like true. the it's like those food speed eaters. You know, remember when we had Bartley? Yeah, man, he was house? awesome. Dave, I used to make cake shakes. I used to take fucking. All right, so you're just as guilty as he is. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to say the whole time here. <laughs> I think we all the were thing is something like I gotta him. get bigger. And today, right. with these right. kids, it's more trend, more anadrol, bigger. I got to get bigger. More trend, more anadrol. Yeah. No, hey, Larry's on. When I was young. Well, what's Larry's a cake like shake? That. Greg, what's oh, a cake shake? I used to I used put take a cake shake. I would throw fucking half and half okay. a big fucking uh, slice of cake like this in a blender. My Let me see that, Greg. Greg. Are we going to stay dry That here? sounds good. We I had just, an industrial I, I, blender. I, I, I realized had I had a limit. Blender, big fucking blender. My grandmother was in it, worked at a bakery. So we wow. put, I put half and half, big thing of cake, protein we powder, all did it. cup of protein yeah, powder. I, like I, would, I would even <laughs> no, we all did it, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're validating my point. Mine too. I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying. You're giving him a hard time and then the saying kid. he did it. The more the people root him on, and the more you get attention from pro bodybuilders, today, your mindset is, I'm going to eat more, yeah. But I got to get bigger, so you're going to take more, you know, more babanya. You know what I'm saying? When Not I bulked up, I fattened up and then Hurt. cut down. Fattened up, then cut down. These kids are not getting fat. They're getting bloated nope. because they're because taking they insulin. Because they cruise and blast. Let me ask you a question, Greg. <laughs> Why, when you were going to the gym and yeah. you were growing and you were, you know, doing your natural – because you were a natural bodybuilder for many years. Yes, yes. And everyone, I'm sure, was telling you, oh, Greg, you look great and everything like that. Well, why didn't you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to take some babanya to get even bigger because even more <laughs> than validation. I, when I was younger, I wouldn't even – first of all, I didn't even know what, what that shit was until, like, you know, I was in Gold's Gym and Peter Neff fucking well, you, told me. Right, but you still weren't taking it. So why no, – why, no, I mean, you didn't get – At that point, I was already in. jacked, though. I was already jacked. And, yeah, and, and you would have gotten even more jacked, I'm sure. It, it wasn't available. It wasn't around like it is today. Oh, it was all over Westchester. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 no. That was funny. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, it was it wasn't. No, no, it was it was it was not in the early, not in the fucking late seventies. You could have got it from uh, uh, Doctor Mike, uh, Bob Brush, come on. No. I was watching somebody there that and they were talking I about was, Sam. It and people was like, "Why do people like Sam so much?" And I'm like, "They're like, well, he's kind of he's kind of awkward. He's kind of weird. He's probably not too good with the women, um, wh whatever." And he's in the gym, and, and they said, "What do you think about it?" I said, "You know, he's a big kid. He's 21." I said, "When I was 21, I already won four shows and already had a contract. I wasn't trying to say I was better than him. I was just trying to say we got." We we had to do a, make accomplishments to to get ahead at that time. We just couldn't go eat a bunch of cereal and make videos. Times are different now, right. and people were like, "You're so jealous of him." I'm like, "Jealous of no, what?" It's different. I'm like, and so you get attacked by attacking these people that have cult like followings like this. Social media. What's that on his hat? A camera. Really? Wow, that's cool. Or maybe a microphone. A mic yeah, a microphone. If I shoot something, you'll see. It. I I'll put it on my shirt hey, hey. or. Uh, and and you know I think I think in general it seems to be that way that you're probably going to sell more supplements doing this maybe 
Maybe Fuad needs to break away from the bodybuilding market to sell more. Maybe this is a, a good opportunity for him. Well, he's not I'm doing a good job. For the it's like a commercial. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to have, have anything to do with it. The ones that have been I, with him, they said he tries to make them do too much work with too little pay. That's not coming from my mouth. That's the people he sponsors. So. I'm going to defend him, and, and I don't even know what the work and, and pay and all that stuff is cool. all about. But no, people are lazy now. People, yeah, people don't. No, people don't want to work. Right. Fuad's best salesman for his company is himself. He yep. doesn't even need any of these other athletes, you know. Mm -hmm. And what you'll find is that when you pay someone. Now you have expectations on what they right. should be doing for you because you're giving them a salary. And when they don't do it and you confront them, bodybuilders are very weird mm -hmm. and they get insulted and then they turn it around and they make it look like he's the bad guy. But you know what? The truth is he's, if he's paying you and you agree to a certain contract to do certain things, and if he calls you out on it, and you don't do it. Whose fault is it? It's your fault. It's not yeah. his fault. You signed the contract. Listen, I'm and, not against the kid or flawed. I'm so, I understand, but I feel like you know the internet will root you on. Look at that guy that did the mukbang shit that started out as this. Cali Muscle did that. Kid. Oh, you mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, now he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. He's in oh, a fucking God. wheelchair. Yeah, he's but four hundred you know, something pounds. I, I, what did he do? He went from one twenty five or something like that. He kept eating the mukbang food, food, oh, food, man. and now he's four hundred something pounds. And he's in a wheelchair. He has to sleep with that sleep app shit. Yeah. In his, and he's, he's, he's going to die. Okay, 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 Nicotado yeah. avocado. Thank right. you. That guy, I got to yeah. get a word in edgewise here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this kid is doing what he wants to do. All right? That's okay? fine. No different than what we did. And in my opinion, looking over here at who's on his show, way less than you. All right. So, so um, leave him alone on that regard. As I, far as I what agree. image he's promoting and, and what part Fwad is playing in that is business. This is a business. Okay. So this kid's got a lot of following. I don't think he's doing what he's doing is I wouldn't do it that way. I wouldn't I wouldn't, nor would probably anybody on here, knowing what we know today, right. promote what he's doing. But but, back then. but at the same time, look, you're in here slugging it out on your own, basically. No one's no one came to his aid when he was 13 and said, "Dude, we're going to put you on the right track right now." Like right. would have been great if they did, but they didn't. That, that never happened. It's fantasy land. He's doing what he's doing. He's got a good shtick going. Fawad yeah. sees it for what it is. And have all is good in the world. Leave him alone. He, if, if no one is in a wheelchair over this guy, no one's having a heart attack over this guy. Mm -hmm. The worst anybody's going to do over this guy is get a wicked case of acne and gyno. Yeah. Beyond that, yeah. all fucking <laughs> at, least, yeah, at least he really eats the food he says. He, uh, unlike there the liver go. thing, you know. Who's exactly. you go. Like Greg, what were we he's, doing at twenty one? I was I, I was beating I'm up people. Right. I was doing drugs. I was having sex with you know twenty different girls a week. I was having sex with prostitutes without condoms. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Dude, this kid's doing a lot better wow. than I was. At exactly. I was exactly. dating prostitutes. I know what you're saying. But let me tell you something. I'm not saying, I'm not attacking the kid. I'm attacking the fact that social media will root this kid on yes. to try to push him. Dude, if well, there was social media yeah. when I was younger, and, and I did have access to steroids. Maybe I would have took them because I like, holy shit, everybody's showing me the spotlight now and I'm getting pro bodybuilders. Give me, I, dude, you know what? Maybe I better go on roids to get even bigger. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that he's bad. I said from the very beginning when this kid was brought out, I said, I feel bad for the kid. I do. I understand he's doing what he wants to do. That's fine. Yeah. But you got social media rooting on, like, fight, 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 mm -hmm. fight, fight, like that kind of I, shit. Greg, I don't think that's the case. I just don't, I don't see that. Social media is brutal. We were I don't see, but in his case, with probably no in his case at all. I don't see that. I, so you, tons you, of I, attention. You know, he's got all these followers and fans now. I'm sure he's well, ecstatic. What, he's yeah, living up. Well, he's 31 really years old. Greg put him on his show. And he's been on a couple other people's shows where they comment about the same things we're talking I about. I want to get him on this show. Him bigger. Dave, let's get him on. Let's get him on. We'll get him Greg, on. That. He can't now since he's with Hostile. Why wouldn't he come on the show? Yeah, what the hell? We got. We don't no, sell anything on, man. That's ridiculous. Sure he usually can. when I'll Hostile signs people, it's usually to their podcast only. Mm -hmm.
Listen, I'm not saying you crazy. Man. I wish you did not. That's, no, that's the stupid. That's the Blackman stupidest. Yeah, that's that's right. Stuff. That's bodybuilding yeah. last century. If you're selling nutritional supplements, I want this guy going everywhere with my. I shirt think on. that's right. what he does. I don't hold me account like, but like, I think that's what he does because someone else nice. was trying they to do know, another they podcast and they couldn't right? because they were with hostile. Thank Thank you, McCall. Well, we just did a podcast with him. Steve McCall. I'll, ask, I'll ask Fuad if he wants to come on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah bring Fuad with him. I, I like Fuad. I think he's a great guy. Yeah. yeah. We get a he him and I get along fine. Yeah, yeah no, like he's Fuad. a smart dude, man. I like him. Dude, I don't even know the guy. I don't care. You think everyone's a good guy, so you'll definitely love him. Yeah, really. You love this guy. Dude, the internet is bullshit, is what I'm just trying to say. We've been talking about the social media thing. And it pushes people to be a little. Oh, they want to see a front double bicep from you. Who? I said Romano hit a front double bicep. <laughs> <laughs> I Greg, you're you're this isn't only fans, guys. There you go. All right, Greg, you're next. Greg, front double. Well, I have a, I have a shirt on. I mean, I don't know what you guys. Well, roll the sleeves up. Still there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Your arms still look like they're 20 inches, Greg. Yeah, my arms what are big. What the fuck is in there, Greg? He looks like he has bowling Greg, balls. Greg, do that again. Greg, in do that person. Again. Looks like you got a tennis ball in there, dude. You yeah. see him in person. He looks like he has bowling balls in there. He's got armor in there. He's got armor in I mean, it's called scar tissue. It's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's muscle, That's muscle. Without the shirt on? What's that look like without the shirt on, dude? What's the point? I'm still, to... I'm still pretty jacked. That's Mr. Yeah. G, let me see your front double. Mr. J. Oh, look at look at hey. Wow, George George is four years old. George, yeah. George, how old are you? George always had the guns, though. Little guns. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm 65. I just, yeah. I mean, I'm just. Right. I trained for two. I did two hours of MMA training right before I, the show. So you look pumped. You look great, George. For your age, fuck you. You look great, yeah, man. George, you, look, you, look yeah, phenomenal. George, you look great, man. Surfing and everything. 65, bro. Man. Yeah, well, I'm training. I mean, I'm training. Hey, by I mean, the way, George, I'm 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 trying to go to Florida in the next few weeks. When I go, uh, I want to come visit you. I want to go yeah, surfing. You, well, yeah. you can surf. You come train at the MMA gym. You can train at Adams Gym. Okay. Reinvent you. I train there Ray too. Roger, I train. Can you, can you text Roger how to you surf? You guys can that make cookies. Fun. Yeah. No, I'll get Roger. We'll get Roger Box. No, but I will though. We'll that's, MMA that's, with that's, it. I'm I'm visiting him, and I and I and I want to set my agenda up. So. Give me your address. Bring like your me. apron. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would love that. Oh, John, hey, I would love to cook with you, bro. Some, like, steaks and stuff, man. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I just I just did two uh, porterhouses. I had them cut them two and a half inches thick. Double perfect, bicep of me. I'll give you one bicep. He's got an arm. Look at him. He's got an arm still. He's ripped. Thank you. Good. All right. We're all shredded. Wait, Dave, I'm let's see your Dave. Let's Hold see your you, you? I'm being tested. Look at Dave. Wow. Oh, Dave. look. Dave's he's got good. that onion skin. Dave, all like a, Dave looks like a big penis. Yeah, he's, just <laughs> cool, man. he's so fucking vascular. <laughs> and <his skin. laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not big. I'm just red. That's all. I'm Dave, red. is it a genetic thing that your skin is like that? Because seriously, every, I, I've always known you've got the thinnest skin. It's so weird. No, I can see through it. I don't know. It's so, your whole body's like that. I know you don't, I know. You don't see that anymore. I got it like that on my legs, but the I, rest I, of my body. I was wondering right. if you took something that made you look like that because it didn't look normal. Know. Yeah, Not growth hormone anyone, anyone else can take, though. Yeah, but uh, Dave's always looked like that since he started body. Yeah, that's that's why I, I think I took something that that basically got rid of killed off all my fat cells. Yeah, I don't think I had I think that's what you did. What was that? <laughs> it's the secret ingredient. It's the lutealase, uh, Greg. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Dave! Well, you, That'll I make think, you know, shut your brains let's, out. That's let's get that all started up again. Lutealase. No, no, lutealase. <laughs> <laughs> Arm on too. When you diet as a teenager, I saw you're the a teenage <laughs> bodybuilder. You too, Greg. Oh, but when you're a teenage bodybuilder and you diet down and you're getting rid of the fat that you're that nor normally the body would use to to develop and stuff like that, but you're eating enough calories so it doesn't doesn't offset that. But do you see that it made you kind of like permanently better in life? Because I feel yeah, like I've yeah. always been like, yeah. you know, leaner, harder. Like I have abs. I still have a my my tree shows, but that's just because it shows. You know what I mean? I think and, I was the hardest at 19. Like that was my, my I, yeah. That was right before I jumped on gear. Here, I'm trying to. I don't know if y'all can see that there, but oh yeah, like the before and after. Oh wow, look at your shoulder, dude. That's for, as, zoom in on Dave. 19 years oh, old. Yeah, Dave, yeah, there you go. Wow, look at that. Damn. No, hold on. You're natural here. 
Yeah, I'm natural there. On, on the right? 240 to 176. Dude, your chest and shoulders are striated like crazy. Yeah. Look at that. At, at there, I was eating worse than Sam at age 19. How much did you weigh and how tall are you? Again? <laughs> I was 240 and I dieted down to uh, 176. So on the, on the left over here, where you're not wearing a tan, you're 240? I'm 240 here. Yeah. yeah. 176 here. You were still lean. Seriously, yeah. Arma, seriously. You were still lean at the 240. You're seriously, Natty. And yeah. that, honestly, don't lie. Are you seriously, Natty? Because you're yeah, I swear to God, I didn't, touch, I didn't touch your gear before. This is my book I came out with, actually. It's a short book. But um, I got on right before I can was. We see, can we see the cover of the book, please? I got on right before I was 20. I, this is my book. I came out like a couple months ago. It has my cycles in it when I was competing. Oh, it's cool. not. That's just for per, just for entertainment purposes only. Awesome. It has a couple crazy stories in here about bodybuilding, the industry, <laughs> and some weird stories that happen. It's called Geared Up. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. I like that, man. Yeah, oh. You can get it on my website it's, it's or on Amazon. And, what, uh, what's your website? Armonity.com. Yeah. And it's That's a short cool, read. It's like 60 pages. And I just uh, wanted to give like kids an uh, idea of what I did to look that way um, with completely putting all my cycles out there and everything. And I didn't think it was dangerous to be just because these kids are doing 10 times more than that before, you know, before I released it. But, you know, so. I mean, well, who helped you? Who, at least who, who helped you? Anybody help you when you were bodybuilding? Competing, Dave. Oh, yeah, Dave helped. helped. Oh, okay, so yeah. then you were your shows together. I had oh, a guy, right. when, I, I had a guy when I first started. He was. We'll get him his pro card. He's well, not done yet. Really he's not that good, yet. Natural. I swear to God, he's, that's he's in a bulk cool. phase right now. Your he's shoulders and your chest are so strided for being natural. I, I. I'm having a hard time believing you. I, I don't. I know you're not lying to me, dude. But you know, you're really nuts. Dave, I just sent you a picture of me. You can 19. get shredded naturally. Yeah, Greg, look at Greg's picture. No, I you know, but I think it's easier to because you're not holding estrogen. 1979, you know. 1979, bro. 1979. That was no, 240. No I I beat guys. Man. That was an 80 pound loss. That's, I lost 80 I just pounds sent it for to you, show. Dave, I sent it to you Where's on the picture? Messenger. I'm pulling it email, up. Hold on. Armand, no diuretics? Email. No, no. I know. No. I know. I see. So well, what did you do for the water? You drank a lot and then stopped? I stopped then drinking the day before. Okay. I lost muscle, too. I didn't know what I was doing. I had a guy, a local everybody, guy helping me. Everybody who's natty is going to lose at least three pounds of muscle. Right, Dave? Dude, I had fucking hamstrings as a natural. I don't know. I mean, I'm yeah. sure. And then after that show, uh, right before my 20th birthday, I jumped on with just That's me. Down. You're I'm natty a, here. 100% natural. Didn't even know it was Look at your natural. arm. That's my God. Done. And can you believe what he did to them? Look at my and, and he had, he had to object no. <laughs> Can you believe what he like did to them? What did he do to himself? Look it's at that. What the frig? What did he do to that? Why did he do that? Why look, I would you take ugly. that physique and fucking destroy oh, I don't know, wow. dude. If, you, if I could look like that natural, I would have never take shit. It's like the mini, yeah, mini the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Can you believe like what he did to himself? Look at that. Look at that's the arms, the, man. The chest. It's the mini you know Arnold. When you die, Greg, you're going to get up to the gate. St. Peter's going to hold that picture up, and he's going to say, <laughs> what the fuck did you do? And <laughs> Look at my legs. You took that body, God. You fucked it up. Dude, night. So how many years? A Greg, of, how many, a million uh, of me as a teenager competing the whole bit. I used to beat men. Greg, how many years had you trained when you look before you looked like this? So you're 19 I, years. Uh, okay, if I I was 19 there, I already yeah. trained like maybe six, seven years. I started training when I was 12, but I was built before I ever lifted weights. You, I'll send you a picture, Dave. I'll send you a picture of me at 11. I was like, you could see, I was like, I was very muscular, but not big, skin like thin, but. Like, right. you know, what? when you see a crackhead crack in New York City and he's like yeah. fucking sitting What made you obsessed with this at such a young age, Greg? Uh, you're all obsessed with it. No, but 11 years old, Armand. Yeah, that's really young. No, 11 is when he, I... He I, I, before, I could, he had a Napoleon complex. He had, a, he had to get bigger because... That was right. I started... Right. Did you thing, get beat up, Greg? Did I, you get bullied? Yeah, when I was little, I got bullied. But then when I was older, I was, I was the bully. Oh, yeah. oh, that's bad. Why'd you do that? You're not supposed to do that. Get him so, back. I mean, this is eight, this is eight no, months after using gear. 
He went from getting bullied to taking strippers Hold to on. his prom. What you, Armand, what's that? This uh, is eight, eight months can, can after you zoom in on that, please, if you don't mind. So that's about eight months. Most, mainly like testosterone and equipoise and Winstraw. Yeah, no, the, the, and this is this is with Dave's advice, right? Because he doesn't. No, I met Dave at twenty three. Served at Junior Nationals for the first time, and I so, said, "This guy's got yeah, talent." Yeah, so this is this is um, this is me and Dave's first. Uh, Pro, Armand, prior to that, was it just you? I had people kind of help me, but I didn't really listen because they were burning the muscle off me. Um, I think this was. Was this our first? I think this was our first junior national day. Slide it over a little bit. There you go. Slide it over a little bit towards your face. What year was that? Towards your face. Towards your face. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you were shredded there. What are you? Wow. What are you weighing in this picture, dude? Uh, one ninety three. Look at your shoulder. That's what I'm saying, Dave. His shoulders he pop out. What, he should have won that show. They really kind of fucked him at that no. show, to be well, honest. Well, Dave, backstage, Blackman came up to me. He's like, "Hey, it's between you and Brandon Ray." He goes, but if you get second, we'll still fly you out to California. I was like, okay, cool. So, yeah. but I'm like this tall, and Brandon Ray is like, like down here to me, and he has those yeah. bubbly muscles. And um, I got fourth place, mm -hmm. um, yeah. which I guess I mean for my height, five ten, I was just I had to fill out more. But that's the only time I really talked to Steve, and he was offering me a contract if you win or get second. We're flying you to California. Was, was the con was it like a seventy-two hour contract? He's yeah, like you fly there, you shoot for the magazine. <laughs> we were there, John. Still, so it wasn't seventy-two hours. It was Armand, it was great like, shoulder to waste. That's when Brandon Ray came out of nowhere it. and won that show. I remember that. Like, I remember that. We were there. Yeah, like, we, we were there. On him, yeah. And Brandon Ray, you would see him backstage, and you're like, "Oh, he's soft," and he'd get on stage, and you're like, Light "What up. happened?" Yeah, he, he hit shots in his. But he was like Derek Whitson and muscle. Armand, do you credit your Iranian genetics for your, uh, for your, for your the way you look? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I look at you. I look at Kamali. I look at my brother. I, I never was a big guy, so I don't want anyone to think I was. I was a smart. Wide shoulders, uh, thin skin. Yeah. Dave, check your email. I just sent you another. Right. Shoulders, Armand, for sure. Shoulders. All the Iranian guys got those big shoulders, man. Yeah, all the Middle Eastern guys got the shoulders. Yeah. Um, and and ass, the ass, legs. What's that? Here's thirty. Here, here's after I retired two years. I I was out of the gym for two years. I got back with Dave because my mom was passing away of cancer. I said I need to do a show, Dave. I went from just having two shoulder surgeries. I was out for two years, and then this is, I believe, eight months back into training right here. Whoa. This is with Dave. Wow. Zay, can you zoom? Can you hold zoom on, hold on, yeah. I'm trying to pull up Greg's picture here. Hold on. There you go. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. dude. You're dude, mad yeah. vascular. What the heck were you on then? Trend? <laughs> dude, my body couldn't even handle. Dave remembers. I was like, Dave, what the? I can't even take this much. I'd make this big. So I didn't take beer two years before that. I, didn't I mean, take I mean it sounds just like the guys online. Dude, what are you taking? I know because I think you're running, so I want to know. You're you know? supposed so, to ask, so dude, when I started what's your that, diet like? What, what's your training like? That's what you're supposed to ask. <laughs> but I was about 250. How do you do it? Look at this. That's 11 years old. I was muscular. You see my abs? Yeah. Yeah. It's howdy yeah. duty time. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have ever known? You got to put the shades on it. I wasn't lifting weights there. Then show no? me at 15. I'll oh. show you me at 15 plastic weights in my room. Oh, the old plastic ones with the, that had the syrup. Plastic Sears weights, weights, bro, Sears. in my room. It had the plaster of Paris. Yeah, from Sears. It had the plaster of Paris inside wow. of the I was 18. I was there 18. But Crazy. look at my legs. Look at my high school. That's unbelievable. Like, You're natty. Look at my high school. Like Wait, you see the high school football helmet? Black and white TV right there. Kind of remind me of a short Matarazzo. High school. For, look at my legs, though. For a natural teenager in 1978 right there. If you, if you could have sucked it down like another five, six pounds and been a little bit more shredded, you'd have been looking nuts. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even a contest shape that. I was just yeah. be walking. Now, that's me at like 21. What and happened? look at my legs. Look at a mullet. Wait. Nice bug eyes because I was sucking my stomach. <laughs> that, that's a tan. <laughs> no yeah, you know why? I like an an both. Yeah, I know. I know. That's without paint, though. Yeah. I went in a yeah. tanning booth. That's yeah, why. Yeah, Even though you were short, Greg, you were like Lee Priest. You could have competed so, against the regular. No, Greg, you didn't know that you had to put your arms up like this when right, you went exactly. to the tanning bed? Yeah, I know. I didn't, put my, I didn't even really flex my bicep. Look at my legs. 
Hey, they weren't even tanning beds. They were called burn beds. Burn beds. It was a bulb with a No, it wasn't even a bed. It was a booth. And you know what's funny? It was a homemade booth. This guy put two years of his life into it. It was a booth. And you know what's funny? It was a homemade booth. This guy put two UV bulbs in a closet. It was a closet. You're lucky you don't have UV bulbs that way. He's not blind. A Cito guy. I've heard it all now. All right, guys, I got to wrap this up. We've been going a little too long. And I want to just send out my condolences to Rob Zilla's family. Yeah, really. My condolences. Terrible, terrible news. Rest in peace, Rob. And rest in peace, exactly. For now, though, I'm Dave Palumbo with the entire Whack Pack. We will see you again next week. See ya. All right, guys.